I, l- I love the premise of the show. Smart people talking about dumb shit. I think, I think it's dumb people talking about smart, smart shit. Oh, we go where we not supposed to go, baby. The Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast, and this week's episode of the Brilliant Idiots is brought to you by Freeze Pipe. Makers of the smoothest hitting pipes and bongs around. Today's episode is brought to you by Freeze Pipe. Each Freeze Pipe product uses freezable glycerin chambers that cool smoke by hundreds of degrees. Pop one of these glycerin chambers in the freezer for one hour and the smoke passes through the icy chamber. It's instantly chilled for a bigger, colder, and smoother hit. Say goodbye to throw the chest burn. Freeze Pipe offers a luxury smoking experience at everyday great prices, okay? If you're tired of burning throats or coughing too much when you light up, visit thefreezepipe.com and use code IDIOTS for 15% off. That's thefreezepipe.com. Use code IDIOTS for 15% off and say goodbye to harsh cannabis smoke. Visit thefreezepipe.com and use promo code IDIOTS to save 15% off your first order. That's promo code IDIOTS to save 15% off your first order at thefreezepipe.com. Let's start the show. Uh, Big Wax is here. Doodoo Herm. Yeah. (laughs) Trap. Tramp Lactus, and uh, my good sister, Kendra G, is here. Hello, fellas. Hi, Kendra. Hi, Kendra G. Let's, let's start yeah. off good, Andrew. We might not end good, but let's start Why? off Why? Why would we not end Have good? Have y'all never met? We never met. I never wow. met you in person. Because oh. I saw your teaser video. Oh, you liked it? No, I didn't. By the way, which one? He has a lot of teaser videos. By the way, Andrew doesn't tease. There's no such thing as an Andrew tease. You know exactly what the it's, fuck it's, Andrew is doing. Andrew, out of There's no tease. Or a problem. Yes. Okay, I don't like the word tease for Andrew it's videos. It's just jokes, guys. It's just it jokes. is just jokes. It is just Don't jokes. Don't get your ass slapped, as we have learned this That's past true. weekend. Oh, we That's coming true. in hot. Yeah. We yeah. coming yeah. in hot. Yeah. Yeah. Just know how you doing. <laughs> how was everybody's week? <laughs> okay. How was everybody's week, though? Oh, man, who cares? All right. <laughs> okay. Talk about yeah, it. You know why? Because it was overshadowed. Yes. Your whole yeah, week? I forgot what happened. My week was me. not overshadowed. Wait, what like, happened? God damn. What huh? happened? Huh? What happened? Yeah. He overshadowed? said the week was overshadowed. If, yeah, if, by, if, by, if, by a smack, but go ahead. No, man. <laughs> if Will Smith, you know, putting hands on Chris Rock overshadowed your week, you need a life. What What about uh, your it week? It overshadowed his own um, Emmy. That's it his life. Oscar. 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 That's him. Yeah. I got a life. I got my braces removed this week. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> and it's yes, huge. And it huge. was. That's huge. The oh weekend I had. You've had braces? Man, I got braces on Thursday. I did a four day bid. <laughs> oh, and then he said, fuck, <laughs> fuck that. You saw me Tuesday. Those braces ain't do shit. I got them on Thursday and I got them off yesterday. Yo, salute to everybody out there who's ever had braces, everybody who's got braces. I ain't built for it. I had braces, but I had them as a child and I still have my retainer permanently at the back of both of my top. Like the top teeth and the bottom teeth, so the teeth won't shift. Keyword yeah. is a child when you, you have them. Show. Thank you. Perfect. Yeah. When you have them, I got the Invisalign. Oh, that's got- a, I'm getting that next week. Just do that. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting the next true. week. We got enough money to buy teeth. Just buy the teeth oh, like everybody that's else. That's true. But I still yeah. got good teeth. My dentist wants me to keep my teeth. I don't know if they're as good as they think they are. My dentist uh-huh. said I got good teeth. Uh-huh. I just got a couple crooked ones in the back that yeah. just need to be realigned okay, before okay, I get the okay. veneers. That's okay, smile so they can see and print. <laughs> I'm always, I got a good You team. got a good okay. smile. You do have a good smile. I will smile. say that. You yeah, have a I good think smile. you shouldn't really do anything. You've been very successful with the smile thus far. Why change it? I mean, because I feel like you can always be better. You know what I mean? And when you're going to the dentist and the dentist is cleaning TV, the dentist is like, you know, if you adjusted this here and adjusted this there, you could do this. I and I get and, you, bro. And by the way, I'm going to be 44 this year. It's well, all about having the back teeth. The, you, the older you get, you got to have your back teeth. So no, I want my back teeth. You I'm can buy them if you keep my parents' teeth, man. That shit is crazy, bro. They losing it? They dropping like flies. That's what I'm saying, man. <laughs> they like flies. That's what I'm breaking saying. breaking my heart, But then you get dentures. I do. I keep buying them. But then <laughs> shit, my dad keeps breaking them motherfuckers. I don't know. It's just crazy. How old are they? My dad's 77, I think. 78. I want my yeah, teeth yeah, at 78. Yeah, yeah. 79. You got to buy teeth probably at that age. I'm going to get it. No, you do it. Buying teeth is great. I'm, yeah. I'm just preserving them for as long as I can. Okay, that's fair. But that's I, fair. I will tell you this. I've been to the county jail. Long as I've ever been in the county jail was 45 days. I'm not saying braces feel like the county jail. <laughs> when you get braces taken off, yeah. it does feel like when you get released. Yeah. Yeah. Why, was so bad? Why, 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 why was it so bad? Yeah, like what was so painful? Man, that shit was like, number one, a bracket broke in the back. <laughs> So it was like this scratching wire you? scratching the back of my mouth. And every time I would chew, I would chew on the wire. Uh, and then like the braces were cutting all of this, oh my all of this. And then it's like I would eat and then gargle and it would just be like chunks of food. I'm like, I don't oh, got time for this. I'm not yeah. doing this for six you months. You screen. All you had was six months? I had braces for two years. I had the six month smile. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fuck that. I'm not doing it. Yeah, yeah, six months. Why you got time for that shit? It up. Yo, my dentist said when I saw you on the schedule, 
for yesterday? She's like, I knew what you was here for. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I knew what you was coming back for. She's like, I knew exactly what you was coming back for. So oh. She you said say, you want them off. Do you say braces is not an adult thing? You shouldn't do nah, that Nah, braces adult? is a childhood sport. Yeah. <laughs> That's a young person's and, and sport. And you think it's ridiculous, so it's ridiculous when, like, like grown that. adults get braces. Yeah, come on. Like, who are you doing this for? That'd be, like, yeah. 60-year-old ladies getting braces for what? Well, she got to get a man, probably, if she's single. You got to put you your You think men that age care about teeth? Well, what do they care about at 60? If it would get wet. Heartbeat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't even think it's wet. Like, just are you there? Yeah. Okay, alive? Mildred! Mildred! <laughs> just cough if you're still alive. Do you not have COVID? Like, that's all I need. Every time she nut, you don't know she's gonna have a heart attack. No, no, no. have mercy. <laughs> And then you can hear your teeth moving when you sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Like, I, w I woke up to the sound of, like, my teeth moving in excruciating like pain. I'm like, oh, yes. Well, oh, no, I that's think too it's much. like if you don't have teeth and when you get older, your mouth just moves by itself. You ever see the older people without dentures and their mouth just move by themselves? I do like, that now. That's why she told me to get braces. Oh, wow. I was doing that now. Yeah. People always been noticing that for years. They're like, I think Charlotte do coke. Oh, because you kind of like a <laughs> Yeah, I'd be like, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I do that shit all the time. Yeah. And she told me I would have jaw problems in the future. That's uh, what I'm, I got, I'm getting Invisalign next week on the 7th. Okay. Awesome. On the 7th. Oh, oh, you good. Invisalign's you know fun. Got to get something in your mouth so in case somebody ever tries you at an award show and they smack you, your shit don't fly out. That's you true. Because I, mean, <laughs> I know people now who be talking, they have like the, the veneers or dentures or whatever, and they be flying out sometimes. No. Oh, they got, oh, like the terrible. one tooth will fly out for real. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that happened to my aunt. But you know, I had somebody, I punched somebody in the mouth with you braces. You punched somebody in the mouth? Yeah, that shocks you. Day, I had braces, and I still got the mark <laughs> right here from the braces. Oh, well, what I a never jerk they are. I never want to punch somebody in the mouth with braces. Why did you yeah. punch somebody in the mouth? I was young and dumb. Because you got anger problems. <laughs> I, was young, I was young and dumb. I don't do that no more. What was the reason? Do you remember? I can't even tell you. Oh, God. Yeah, that's dumb. messed up. Everybody should have but a reason as to why they hit yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about <laughs> that. <laughs> what, is the, what is a justifiable reason? Is a joke justifiable? Why they punch in the mouth? Yeah. yeah. He probably cracked on me because like, back in the day, I could A joke from a comedian at a war okay, show? let's talk yeah. about it. Do that. Go. I want to hear the take. Yes. Go, shows. It was heartbreaking to watch. It was, it was tragic. No, all jokes aside. I mean that. It was, it was tragic. I mean, I, I got a, These I, are my idols. Yeah, like, I got reasons to why it's tragic, but go ahead. Yeah, like I, both of them. Like Will, my idol, it's mm -hmm. been heartbreaking to see what he's been going through the last few years because I literally grew up watching Fresh Prince and mm -hmm. I thought he was the coolest person on the planet. And I'm sure like part of my identity was formed just watching this guy. I'd be like, oh man, he's like cool. Like he's that. funny. Mm -hmm. Girls like him. He's charismatic. Like I just thought he was the man. Like I thought, I thought Will Smith was so dope growing up that I thought he was the star of Independence Day. He wasn't? I watched it recently. He's the star of the Independence he's Day. In like he's in like 20% of the movie. Really? He's, yeah. he's one of the people in the movie. Oh, I didn't know that. I mean, neither. I've never seen I Independence Day. I watched that though. shit like this is only him and the aliens. That, that, I say, isn't that with the aliens? It's, yeah, when the aliens oh, yeah. come okay. down. And I think it's like a, 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 what is it called? A group cast or something? Right, okay. But one of those things. But to me, he was just the man. And then Chris Rock is like, you know, at least 50% of the reason I do comedy now. Like, I mean, like, I saw him growing up and I was just, before I even wanted to do comedy, I was like, oh, wow, people can think like this? You could have, like, the devil's advocate point of view, but, like, really good rationale. Mm -hmm. And, like, mm -hmm. I think he's probably the greatest comedic mind alive. Like, you know, maybe Dave is I better agree. at performing, but no. comedic mind? No, Dave, Chris is a better stand-up than Dave. In no, terms I disagree of, with that, though. We can, yes. we can get lost okay. in that one, but, like, but in terms of just comedic mind, like, I right. think he is, like, a fucking savant gifted genius. Mm -hmm. And... I saw Will do something that was so insecure, like wildly insecure. insecure. Oh, I'm, I'm letting you talk, stop but I gotta. It. I, I, I just down. get it out. Let I me just get say it out. the insecure though. Keep writing it down. Because I can remember. Yeah. So I can remember. I saw. That you said I, I saw that. Will do something that was so wildly insecure because oh. he initially laughed at the joke, and then saw his his wife yes. not laughing. Mm -hmm. And I'm a comic. I go to comedy shows and I perform. I do jokes all the time. Okay. I've seen these dudes. Mm -hmm. I've seen the dudes out on the first date and they stop laughing so they could get pussy. Right? They're yeah. laughing with a date with the girl. They're like, ha, ha, ha. That, that shit ain't funny. The fuck is this guy talking Man, about? That shit just don't get no pussy. Like, imagine the guy that's his wife. But that's his wife, bro. Like, you should know what time it is. Also, she's out here all day talking about, oh, I'm I'm proud of my bald head. I don't give a fuck what nobody thinks about my bald head. She's on record well, no, saying pause, pause. it. You shows can't it to okay, the world. No, no, real quick. Let me jump in as a black woman. Yeah. Hair is very sensitive to black women in general. And Jada Pinkett has to 
own that she has alopecia. And she's decided, yes, she could wear a wig if she wanted to, but I think she decided to walk into her truth. But that comes with a lot of ridicule. So you can't say what she's proud of. She's just womaning up for the moment of, I'm going to stand in my truth. But I'm quite sure it's very difficult for her to right now deal with the fact that she's losing her hair. Like fat people. So I so, so I can't <laughs> say she's proud of it. And I think... So why is G.I. Jane at this? Like... Well, because, because again, it's like, I think overall... The, Our boy the, Mark said that Demi, Demi, whatever her fucking name is, Demi Moore should be the most offended. Demi Moore... Demi Moore looked good bald. Demi Moore is not part of this conversation She's right G. now. She's G.I. Jane. <laughs> Who cares a shit about that? The That's point, the joke. No, the, the, the joke Wait, is this. The yeah. joke is you're joking somebody's wife. And what happened is Chris Rock did it at the Oscars when the Oscars were so white. And Jada Pika started that. Chris Rock came for her as a black comedian that decided to still do it. And I have no no judgment in that. Get your check. But why you gotta, but if the woman's standing up for black people, why would you mock her at the white Oscars awards? So I believe that smack was from then to now and to everybody that's thinking this is cool to talk about Will Smith's wife in front of Anybody him. Anybody white. Yeah, you can't do that. And I, and I understand that you're a comedian, so I get that. And you can say whatever joke you want to say, but also deal with the consequences. And the consequences, you might you get can't back. escape those consequences. Yeah. You might get no. back. Make the joke, but it's I might illegal. get back. It's illegal. Like, you can't assault people. Assault. And by the way, but, but Will got to deal with his consequences, too. Yeah. So, but so, he's not going to have any consequences. Like, how privileged. Like, what a fucking white woman Will Smith is. <laughs> 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 what a fucking white woman he is. But the slap literally, was a white woman. Literally, literally, but both of them are fucking Karens. <laughs> I feel uncomfortable. The whole award show must stop for me. I will slap you. No, it didn't stop. Batman. Batman. It stop, no. but the you will, and, and my <laughs> comfort is more important than Questlove receiving his documentary award, a black man mm -hmm. receiving his mm -hmm. award. My comfort and my wife's comfort is more important than everybody else. You're white women. Both of you. First of all, but first of all, Will Smith has sat there plenty of times. Like you even said in the beginning, he chuckled at it because that's what he does, right? He's, Good. He, he's he Will also, Smith. He also says that is, 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 is that's, that's what he does when he's uncomfortable. He says that in his book. Okay, but in, but in his speech, he, he, even, he even alluded laughing. to it. Like, yo, I'm exhausted. You always have to smile and accept disrespect because you're famous. And so don't come. So don't, I'm, Why'd I'm you not, come back? Huh? How, about, how about you don't I thought, come? I thought, I'm getting I thought, the Oscar. I thought Oscar's so white. Why are you back? <laughs> no, that's a good point, though. That Why you back? Good point. Oh, I, now that you get an award, I, now we all but, show but up. Andrew, but Andrew, say, say if y'all right? like, have the content. I'm not going to rebuttal that. Every Oscar's like, so white until you the get episode? the award, and they're like, oh, it's pretty diverse now. I but say if you had a cookout <laughs> and somebody talking junk to your wife, you're not going to go after the guy? It depends right, who's to... making jokes. Who's making jokes about how long? <laughs> exactly, <laughs> and that's the problem. Yeah, yeah. It's it's right. Right. it was Chris Rock. Right. He weighs wait. 140 pounds. Like. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm doing it, maybe not. Huh? If wax, if wax, uh, if, if wax, if your job is to roast me and my wife. At a public event, which is what this I didn't is. Know that's who that was. No, that's the job. This is the job of the comedian is to okay. roast the people that are sitting in the front where the cameras can see him. It's okay. not to roast the people. You know when you get that seat that you are going to be roasted. That's part of the event. It's just like when the president shows up Something to like the whatever dinner, mm -hmm. he knows that he's going to get roasted at that dinner. This is part of the job. And you know what else you get? You get the whole world going, oh my God, you're the best actor ever. And here you go, this award. But part of the job is you get roasted. And every one of them know that. And if they don't want to get roasted, they stay your ass home. Or stay okay, in the back, right? Things, well, real quick, going back to why I come to the Oscars, because he deserves to be there. He deserves the award. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, she enlightened the fact that you guys are looking over black talent for what reason? We're just as talented. So, yeah, I'm going to bring my ass to the Oscars because I mm -hmm. deserve to be here. So I got to dispute that part. But secondly, why does everybody have to now, if Jada Pinkett killed herself, then we'll say, you know what? We were right. We shouldn't have made that joke. It's like people, you have to understand, people have feelings and you can't go so far. Will has taken a year. Like this has been a year of people talking about him Don't and his dirty. wife and he's tired. Yes. That's what that came down to. Will Smith usually keeps it together. So the fact that he lost it is a sign that, yo, people have breaking points. Or, 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 yeah, or a lot of it was on, online and now he actually get to see somebody say it in his face to his wife. Now that's why I think he took action. I, I think the problem with us as people is that we judge people's totality of their whole lives based off these bits and pieces of what we get. Mm. Like even right now, we're trying to piece together what would make Will Smith oh. snap. Uh, can, I can tell yeah. you right now, that joke was 1% of yeah. why Will Smith went up there and smacked Chris Rock. Sure. Like he that 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 joke was one percent of why he did that. Yeah, like if you've ever read Will Smith's back. book, if you ever watched Will Smith's YouTube videos, yeah. I think it was called Breaking Point. 
Will Smith has talked to y'all so many times about feeling like a coward his whole life. Mm. Feeling like a punk his whole life. It stems from his childhood when his dad used to beat on his mom and he said he never intervened. Mm -hmm. And he's had to live with that forever. Mm. Now, think about the pressure of being Will Smith Mm. since you've been the Fresh Prince. Will has told y'all, my life has been a lie. I've had to show up and be perfect All the time. And I've got to constantly just eat this shit. No matter what somebody says about me, no matter what somebody does to me, I always got to take the high road, take the high road, take the high road, take the high road. I think what we should learn from this situation to what Kendra just said, and and, and, and Schultz isn't wrong either. If you see somebody like Will Smith at 53 years old and they have a meltdown like that at the Oscars on the biggest night of their career on such a huge ass stage, if he's breaking down and going through it mentally, what the fuck does that say for the rest Hold of us? Mm. How is that breaking down mentally? By protecting yeah, your yeah. peoples? That's breaking down mentally? That is, that can, is, I, can I make, can I make one more clarifying statement? This is well, one more clarifying and statement. And you know who said it was a breakdown? Oh, Will said it was a breakdown. Hey, but, bro. But can, you know. can see that, though. That's a projection. Yo, here's one thing. We're, assuming, people, we're so. assuming this is another thing that we're doing that I think is very unfair to Chris Rock. Mm-hmm. We're assuming that Chris Rock was aware of Jada's medical condition. I can tell you 100% he was not aware because he told me he wasn't exactly. aware. Exactly. So, so, okay. now, so now it's n- now this is Jada who's worn short hair before in her career. Mm-hmm. It is not, not, it's not... It's not short hair. It's bald. It's a difference. Short and that bald... That was more of a Caesar. <laughs> no, it's a bald head. She has no hair. It's just no, like... no, no. She has a little bit. She has a little bit. You can look and see. Uh, I not... looked at it. You should look and see. I okay, looked at I'm gonna it. Okay, I'm going to look Bring it up, talking. bring it up. But my point is, he has no clue that that's what... He has no clue that that is... Um, a medical condition and not a choice. He's assuming it's a choice because that's what we would all do. Yeah, she don't She's look a bad. fashionable woman and yeah. she looks beautiful with it. Yeah. Like, let's not act like she looks bad. It yeah, looks so look good that it could be a choice. Yeah. So he's going up there and going, wow, you chose to shave your head down and you still look stunning. You have your eyebrows and stuff. We know it's not cancer or anything. Mm-hmm. You look beautiful, but you're doing a, cho- a shaved head. Who else looked beautiful with a shaved head? Demi Moore. Let me connect those two things. G.I. Jane. That is not a bad joke. If somebody made that joke about my wife, I would be, I would laugh and everything would be okay. But guess what, though, Schultz? Here's, here's something else we don't know. Yeah. We don't know how much she's at home crying about losing her hair. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's fair. You know what I mean? And I'm, your, I'm her husband. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, but also, too, why doesn't why, why does Chris Rock know that? You're hosting the Oscars. Y'all don't got a research team? Nah, You're not, no, not no, for no, that. I think that's kind of weird. I think that's weird. It wasn't a planned joke. Wrong. It wasn't a planned joke. It was. I heard they gave it to him. No, no. They said he never did that. No, it didn't. They said he never did that joke in the rehearsal. I heard the writing staff gave the joke. That's, well, that's a, that's by the way, that was a very dated joke. I would never have given Chris Rock that joke. To say. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But, she, that was a very dated Who's joke. Getting fired? <laughs> Who was getting fired? I think at the end of the day, Jada's just exhausted. They're just exhausted. Like we've been we've been beating them up for like a year. Like with blogs, with you know the um, the what was it entanglements? It's just yeah. and people saying that's it not to even. Their face. By the way, all of that stuff. I pro- that's not even. That could be part of it, but I'm telling you, people be having issues that we know nothing about. People be dealing with stresses that we know nothing about. All that stuff we see on the internet, they probably don't give two fucks about that so shit. Here's here's some real you shit. Probably seen her cry. Chris, right. I mean, that's what Will I, Smith, and it's not even that. It's, it's that on plus, top of just dealing with the stress of being Will. For, you know how stressful that day probably was for Will. Oh, unbelievably uh, yeah. stressful. Is this the finally the time? Am I actually going to get it? You got yeah. 50 Playing. people trying to get in the Oscars, trying to get in with you. You got family members yeah. pulling he, you this he, way. He family that. members he pulling you that, that way. Actually. He's just stressed the fuck out. <laughs> and probably smack, people yeah. just clowning. Like, I, they were making jokes prior. I mean, this is to, a to tame... Chris's joke. This is a tame joke for Chris. I mean, Chris told the president's wife that she should be the first one on her knees sucking his dick. Man, Chris that's, is, that's And nobody had a problem with that. <laughs> nobody was like, yo, that's disrespectful. Yo, Everybody's like, that's hilarious. Hillary Clinton should Chris, do that. But yo, if the Chris president is, smacked him in his face, who could say something? Chris's joke. Yeah, like, I guess that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, that's true. Like, like, okay. you have, I'm, you have I'm the giving right. you the right that, as because I understand you're a comedian. So yeah. this is what you do. And you guys, and I, and I do have respect for comedians. And I hate that freedom of speech has changed so much that you got, do got to watch what you say at yeah, different times. Sure. But I say, say whatever you want to say, but just got to deal with the consequences I say of what it all you the say. Time. Can, I, can I say yeah. one thing about that? I agree with you guys. Like, I never tell someone how they should react to a joke. If they're offended, if they're upset, if they're angry, if they're dealing with a personal issue, you a medical can't. condition, I can't tell you how to act. But there are laws that are in place. And that's where I think the Oscars well, failed. Well, we got enough money for that lawsuit. That's true. But I think this is where <laughs> the Oscars failed Chris and made Chris look like an absolute clown is no, I think he's a, Will he's a, he's came a, up and slapped him. 
And then he got to stay there for the rest of the Oscars. If you do that in a basketball game, you get kicked the fuck out. You do that in a football game, you get kicked the fuck out. You do that in any other establishment, you do that at TGI Fridays. There's not a single right. business on this planet where you can walk up to someone, put hands on them outside of a boxing match, and keep it real. If you slap somebody outside of the ring, you get kicked the fuck what, out. What you saw was a level of celebrity privilege. <laughs> no, what you saw was them only caring about themselves. They knew he was winning that award. Celebrity yeah. privilege. Yeah. So it it's like, because think Oscars. about it, because yeah. I'm, I'm Will Smith. They know Will Smith about to win Best Actor, right? Bomb. You got this moment. You could tell. You could tell they know they had a moment. Yeah, the way the they Williams was, there the cameras, too. the cameras was oh, going back and forth. Yeah. The camera angles, yeah. boom. Chris, Will, Chris, Will, Lapita in the back. Yo, Lapita, yeah. right. You know what I mean? Lapita <laughs> looks so good. So, 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 so now that. they know the internet about to go crazy. So it's that. like you that, don't that. tell Will to leave now. No way. Now people want to tune in to see. Well, shit. You know the yeah, best yeah, thing that happened. I need to see what Will's going to say. This is the best thing that's ever happened to the Oscars. To be honest, I mean, actually, the Oscars won that night. Yes, a hundred percent. I never knew about the Oscars before. Yeah, like no one talks about that. Like, like. Use, I mean, I watch it because I work in media. Yeah. But I will say this was, they had the most, like, Meg Thee Stallion performing the Oscars. Like, that's to My me. My six-year-old hated that, by the way. <laughs> She's, well, Beyonce, I mean, Beyonce even got My hated over that. She, said, she thinks Meg ruined that Encanto record. <laughs> <laughs> Salute to Meg, you know what I mean? But I'm just telling you what the six year old Screech oh, is saying. The six year old Screech. The six year old Screech was trying to figure out what was going on. She was like, that's not Encanto. Right. Okay. Um, By the way, I've been watching Encanto for a month straight. Fire? Every, uh, I, I don't, I don't oh know. God. What I is keep it? falling asleep. It's a, it's a Pixar movie. Yeah. Oh. It's like the kids love it. And she, my kids love watching the random Encanto videos. Oh, it's too much. Shout to yeah. Jessica Darrow. I did Who's a movie that? with Jessica. She plays Louisa in that. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. But I will agree with you. Like that, that did show the privilege. Uh, but I, I think it was more so about the, um, the Oscars winning. And I also think Chris Rock isn't. I mean, I don't know. You said you talked to him. I don't know what, whatever you could share. But I'm assuming that he's like, he doesn't want to press charges. He didn't want to like get him kicked out. I don't think Chris Rock was on some. He has to leave. No, Chris understands, and Chris understands what comes to territory. Chris has been a comedian for a long time. Yeah. Chris has had to deal with hecklers. He's had to deal with people running up on stage. So it's just weird sure. that it's the, one of the biggest stages in the world, if not the biggest in That's entertainment. Cool. And it's the biggest, one of the biggest <laughs> stars mm, ever yes. that ended up doing Damn. that to you. Wow. You know what I mean? But he understands what come with the territory. I'll tell you something that Rock shared. He just was like, hey, even Putin gave a warning. He's the best. Like, did we have Chris to go? Is the best. And, no. I, and I agree. Like, yeah. did it have to go from that to that? But I think once again, we're looking at the joke, and we're thinking it's the joke that set Will off. No, no, man. And also, the fact that Chris Rock has made jokes about Jada before. I think if that was the first thing Chris Rock ever said, we would have a whole different outcome. It's I, not the first thing that he said, and, and not the first thing he said about her at the Oscars. Yeah, I think that's part of it. I mean, yeah, you know, I five years that. ago when that. when Chris Chris hosted the Oscars, it was during the whole Oscars so, so white controversy, mm -hmm. and you know, and Jay Jada Pika started it. Yeah, I don't know, Jada. She did start it because Will wasn't going to be nominated. It was Will wasn't going to be nominated for a movie. Now, mm -hmm. that is true. And there were some other people she felt was snubbed. And she was just saying, and she made a video about the Academy. And that's yeah. really how it began. And that's why. And she asked Chris not to host. Right. And Chris decided to still host, which I get your bag. I'm not I, I'm never going to tell you how to do your money or whatever your platform is. But in his monologue, which I was disappointed in, whether you agree with Jada was doing or not, she was fighting for black people and you are a black man. So this night you're the host of it and you you're mocking the black woman that was trying to show light shine light to the black people not being a part of this. He's just being a comedian. No, but okay, you can be a comedian, but I'm Same sorry, time. Andrew, you also gotta be a black man too. Same because time. guess what? When you're on this stage before you got there was the black people that supported can I ask you. you. A question? But do let me finish my statement right, first. Go, go, go. So, so now that you you are a comedian, but now when you're in these rooms, we supported you before then. You have a, you have a, I think you have a duty to stand for your people in those moments. You could have did the monologue without playing Jada Pinkett when she was fighting for your people. And I think, that, I, think, one, I think, I think, I think that's what, one question though. Go ahead, go ahead. Yes. Uh, do you get upset when black basketball players dunk on other black basketball players? How is that even related in this conversation? <laughs> They're both black. How does that They're even make They're both black. Sense? How are you going to disrespect no. them by dunking on no. putting your nuts all over his face? That's, uh, Andrew, That's are you crazy. serious it's, right now? This Andrew, is the same shit. You, Why not? not? How the, dare the, you? We the, supported the you. The analogy makes no I'm sense. You know what I'm saying? The black guy's looking up the other black guy. I supported you. I, I'm down for it's your competition. Call. I voted for you for the All-Star game. That's the job. He's a comedian. The job of the comedian is to make the jokes. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. 
saying. Yeah, that's what you're saying. That's what you're saying. I get what you're saying. He let his nuts hang. You're saying a basketball player dunks on a basketball player because that's his job. That is not the same. And you're saying a comedian's job is to go out there and do that. And dunk on people. That's it. But here's the thing. No, no. One thing, one thing, one thing, one thing, one thing, one thing. We've seen dunks where a dude dunked on him. The guy didn't like that shit. Yeah. So he threw a yeah. punch. Definitely. Or he threw the basketball. Yeah. Or he tried to fight the person. Yeah. Now, whether he, over out of the game. Yeah, whether he overreacted or not, that's not on us to say, but we've seen it go both I, ways. I can't choose how people react. That's right. Yeah. I can't I'm not saying react. that, that's but right. there are laws, and you, you're not allowed to break the law usually, and usually... This is why I was upset at the Oscars that they made Chris look like a clown. And then Chris also did some goofy shit, too, in my opinion. But, like, and again, this is my idol. I thought idol. Chris handled it. Man. Nah, oh, he handles man. Chris. Amazing. Handled it. No, 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 no. Perfection. No. As, as, as a comic, when and this is my idol. But mm-hmm. as a comic, when Will said, keep my wife's name out your mouth, and Chris goes, I will. Ich. Amazing. No. Ich. I, I agree with that. You don't understand the joke. Me. I will. You can slap me. You no. can do whatever you want. I, I won't fight you, but you're never going to tell me who I can and can't make fun of. That's it. And I'm not, and I'm, and, he, and that was if you don't kick them out, I will. I'm, not, I'm not reading that fucking teleprompter. No. Bro. I'm not, I'm but not going back that to he work. Won. Bro, now he won. I'm not, no, no. I win because I'm respecting myself. If you're not going to kick him out after he came up here and slap, you're not going to keep me secure. And then I got to keep staying up here and handing out fucking awards like a clown? No, 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 no. See me backstage. We, we all I'm thought, not going to fuck up the whole show, okay. but see me backstage. You don't see how good he okay. did. I think we he all won thought it was fake, though. We, we, we okay, did think we it was fake. And people laugh. But real, wait, wait, real quick, Andrew, and I, I say this respectfully so, you're missing the, the, the black component in this. And it's something you're not Which gonna, is often true. Yeah, uh, he, which <laughs> is often true. This is not disrespect, but there's a part to this that you're not going to be able to relate to. What is the part? The part is the fact that Chris Rock, I feel as though he understood that, okay, I'm in this moment. I have this man, Will Smith, and I and I have joked his wife before, right? I think he got it as a black man, like, okay. He went too like, far. Like, like nah, oh, oh, okay. Nah, he did, he did. You know, and, and I feel like that's why I said I went back to the Oscars so white. Chris Rock was out of pocket when he played Jada because she was fighting for black people. Yeah. So at some point in time, you do, you can be a comedian, but there is a black situation that we got going there's on in a, our community that has to be honored. There's, at a, there's sure. another black component to that too. Um, the black component is Chris has been in the game for a long time, mm-hmm. right? So Chris understood the magnitude of the moment. He understood where he was at. He understood what just happened. And he understood that Quest Love was up for the award that he was presenting. Mm-hmm. Chris didn't want to mess up that, that moment too. for Quest Love. That. He didn't want to mess up the moment at the Oscars. Like, I guarantee you when Chris speaks, you're going to hear Chris say, how would I look fighting? Me and me and Will fighting on the Come goddamn on. stage yeah. on yeah, live national fight. television. And, 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 and now, Andrew, so you're a comedic... Uh, I, I can, and again, I just want to say, I agree with you. That's an experience I can never understand. Right. I can only speak on it from a comedian's experience, which right. is probably something a lot of people don't re- relate to either, which is like protecting what we do. Yeah. And understanding that that, that is the job I description, feel you on that. Yeah. and and now and what you're saying is he's got to balance both of those. Like I'm relating to him as a comic, but you're relating to him as a black person, and you're going, yo, you got to consider lens. other right. black people. And yeah. I'm out here going as a comedian, do your thing, bro. It don't matter. Right. You wanted right. to hear jokes, right? Yeah. You wanted to hear him keep poking the got. bear because right. Andrew is Leonardo <laughs> DiCaprio in that goddamn <laughs> movie with a bear. Fuck them, he fucked the bear. The revenant. He didn't fuck yeah. the bear? No, 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 no. The bear the bear got him, Charlemagne. The bear fucked Leo. Yeah. No, bear. he wasn't really fucking him. He was trying to like mo- like move. Yeah. yeah. He was mo- like, you know. Dry kept- hump. He's trying to fuck him. <laughs> he was warming up the meat, bro. I, I, thought, I thought he wanted oh Oscar because the bear fucked him. Meal, you know oh what I'm saying? I thought he wanted Oscar because the bear fucked him. I think maybe. I think I think we could look at it like that. Oh, okay. This is Hollywood uh, normalizing oh, okay, well, I was gonna say this. Now, <laughs> yeah. to your, to, now, this is what you will be happy about. You know, Chris Rock sells have soared. They're saying that his next show sold out faster than it sold in a yeah. month. So, like, this is gonna win. Like, again, we're talking. First of all, everybody's winning because we're talking about them. Even Will Smith, he apologized. Who have to do a tour and talk about it? Chris Rock, everyone's going to want to hear from him. So as a comic, he has comedy gold. Yep. Like, his tour will sell out. Yeah, that's yeah, that's by a good the way, point. By the that's way, good point, we, and, I, and I said this on Breakfast Club this morning, but it's the truth, man. You got number one salute, Chris Rock, but who's checking on Chris? Because everybody's talking about the childhood trauma that Will had mm-hmm. that he clearly projected on the Chris, right? Mm-hmm. But Chris's show, Everybody Hates Chris, was literally about his child and how he used to get bullied all the time. Yeah. So think about that, right? You're the guy who... 
either made people laugh too hard or was laughing too hard. And so then somebody put hands on you because they couldn't touch the person they really wanted to touch. Yeah. So how do you think Chris feels in that moment? He was humiliated on national television in front of millions of people. Like, listen, like I always say, you can't tell somebody how to react, yeah. but I still don't think Chris deserved it. No, Chris did not it. deserve it. Nah, I don't think he no, deserved it. How about this? How about this? I hey, feel like he hey I'm going to see you backstage. Word no, because, up. Because Will the, the, the wasn't doing it for backstage. Chris. Will was doing it for the well, public. Wife, his, That's his, why I'm telling you it's insecure. His wife, his wife and his kids. Wife. So then take the wife backstage and slap him in front of your wife. No, because the joke wasn't backstage. The joke was in front of all of them. Yeah, but here's the thing. It wasn't going to find out. It wasn't even one of those jokes where the crowd was like, Oh, it, man, it was nothing. Nobody like, would have even paid that joke no that, attention no, if Will didn't react face. like that. Man, her face, her face, face did. These you are the people face? that matter most. Will, um, Willow, Jaden, Will, his son, Will Jr., and, and Jada Pika Smith. Fuck everybody, hey, everybody else. But you know what I say to Jada? <laughs> and I'm just, I was like, once, once again, you can't tell somebody right, but I tell Jada, I'm going to handle that motherfucker later. That's it. No, but, okay, and then, and, I'm going to handle that motherfucker later. Be a white woman. No. And then You're a white you. woman. Fuck that's you cool. as my husband. Because nah, I don't believe that. No, 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 that's cool. Cool. Later, that's, that's cool, too. He's playing me in front no. of everybody. I don't believe that. You. You. you don't believe that. You don't believe that. Either way, it's cool. I mean, I hear what you're saying, Kendra. And no, I definitely hear what y'all saying. I am Karen. That's the new movie that will come out. I am Karen. I stop everything when I'm inconvenienced. He should have handled it backstage like a joke. The second the word is delivered, done, and then you don't take Questlove's moment, which is selfish as fuck. So then, and then you just you go backstage with your wife, and he stepped like, on his own you? moment. Yeah, I think, but he I ruined think. It. nobody's talking about the fact he won Best Actor Nobody at the Oscars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nobody is crazy. Nobody even yeah. knows. And looking all goofy, seeing get jiggy with it. With anxiety all over his but fucking real quick, face. I don't yeah, think we should. Hurt. I mean, first of all, it salute hurt to Quest. Anybody salute. singing, getting jiggy with it. Love. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Salute <laughs> to Quest Love, but I don't think it's fair to say he stepped on his moment because he wasn't thinking about Quest Love. Will Smith wasn't thinking, period. He wasn't thinking. If, if, if exactly. Will Smith was he wasn't thinking. thinking. He blacked out. He, so nah, he, he so, but, but we, there's a show. Why, why do we have to call it blacked out? Black? No. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That's, that's the problem. He whited it out. This that's the whole show cost there. He whited it out. He definitely did white it out. He definitely did white it out. He definitely did white it out. That was the white woman's shit. Yeah, like, yeah, that's like, that's 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 like, like that was like, only... I've never seen that before in my life. To be honest with you. Welcome to my world, baby. Are you saying white out because you're saying the white privilege of him smacking him? That was a level That was a level of privilege. The actual smack was a white woman's smack. That's what a white woman would do. But it was because it was done to a black man. But it was by another black man, though, too. And that's normal for whatever reason, sadly. And it shouldn't yeah, be. Yeah, that sucks. You know we what I mean? We have dissected this so in so many different ways. But we're all <laughs> but we're all focused on the wrong thing, man. I'm what telling you, this shit has nothing to do with that joke. Maybe a small part of it might yeah. probably set him off. Yeah, that's but it. it's a bigger issue, man. That was Will projecting his childhood insecurities on. onto Chris Rock. Yeah. He literally has said this a million times. He was felt like a coward because he did not protect his mom from his dad. Mm-hmm. And 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 he's been having to deal with this shit for the past couple of fucking years. And this is something else everybody keeps saying. Everybody's like, why he didn't do this to such and such? And why he didn't do this to such they, and such? They ain't saying it in front of his face. Exactly. That's it. How Say y'all what? know? He ain't saying how y'all know Will you know it's not say that we're talking about. But how y'all know yeah, Will said how y'all know Will wouldn't have spazzed on anybody exactly. that said that. We all this shit has been happening over the internet. Exactly. And then also all, all this shit has been happening on podcasts and radio this? shows. Mm-hmm. How about this? The flip side of everything. Everyone is saying mm-hmm. that, oh, Will was supposed to have his night. Why are you playing me on my night? Why are you mentioning my wife on the night supposed to be about me? Now, by the way, well, it's not about no, no, him. Come on, that's well, a great point. If, if you <laughs> the win Oscars, that night, no, he's but, one of the people that's no, nominated. I, I, but, but, it's, no, but, but, night, but they're, but they're that's selling it night, as Will, it's Will Smith's night. So yeah, I can't even get respect on my night where my wife is off limits. I, I gotta let y'all know, like, this is too fucking the much. The respect at the is moment. being acknowledged with the joke. That's well, how we acknowledge. If people who aren't famous or aren't nominated don't get acknowledged in the jokes. Nobody's going, uh, miss in seat R13 on the balcony. Uh, your hair looks nah, stupid. Martin what? used to kill people. Martin you know why? But you know why that's a good, you. you know why that's a great point? It's a great point because if yes. I'm Will, and it depends on how you felt, right? If I'm Will, I'm like, look, man, we saw what happened with that entanglement shit on the red carpet. Don't ask me nothing about my relationship. You know what I mean? I don't want to hear nobody joking about my shit tonight. This is my night. I want to enjoy. Yeah, why not? Why are we not talking about the entanglement? Where was that energy when, uh, what's her name? Who? Because Will was the being... The entanglement. I don't think Will you cared was, about that. No, I think Will was being... Will, talking about Will, listen, no, real quick. Real quick. <laughs> you never joking. No, real quick. Will Smith was being Will Smith that we all know then, which is the guy that just takes it and keeps it going. You know, has the unbother factor. He's like Musa. Like, I always say, I don't know how Will Smith no, is always... He knew he couldn't him, get away with it. If you go to Will Smith's Instagram page, he is always happy. He it's knew always he positive. couldn't get away with it. No, I think I don't he just think, had a breaking I really point. don't think... He's going to slap a trans woman on the red carpet. Jada could have. 
Yeah. Is Will Smith Jada gonna could slap have. Jada could have maybe. No. Maybe. Jada could have. It's woman it, to woman. That's woman no. to woman. That's woman to woman. No, that that woman. Been, that trying to do her dirty. That's woman to woman. Shit. Will I'm just knew saying. who he could slap and how he but could I slap. By the way, anything, anytime a woman says something that's disrespectful, and like you said earlier, you said, what'd you say to me earlier? You said that when, when you're with a man, and you shouldn't be arguing with another man. Yeah. That man should have it. And I feel yeah. the same way with a woman. If a Guaranteed. woman says something disrespectful and I'm with my woman, my shorty handle, that. That's, that. Right. Yes. handle yes. that. that's right. Handle that. That's right. We're supposed to shut that, up. Though. I agree yeah. with that. That's if a man says something there. disrespectful to my wife, it's like, why, why would you put us through this? Who? The guy. Okay. Yeah. Like, what are you doing right now? If a man, say that again. Like, if, if a guy is talking to my wife, like, why are you even talking to my wife? I feel the same so way. That's so why are you mad? Then why are you mad? That's what Will Smith did. I'm, I'm talking Duh. about in life. I'm talking about we're in traffic. So that's what I'm, I'm saying. I'm right here. That was traffic. That was, was traffic. traffic. Nah, that he was out the house. He was traffic. He out the house. He was a performance. <laughs> if he said that shit on the streets, do your thing, Will. But if it's part of a performance, jokes that you know you're going to be a part of, you know you're there, Amen. you know the jokes are coming to you because they've come at you for years. I'll tell you what a wise man told me. We all yesterday. tired, bro. Hey, I'm not feel, feel bad for some billionaire that's tired. That's, 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 that's okay. You got to feel bad for people with hundreds of millions Mother of dollars. Hey, you, sad. Problem, Yo. you got hundreds of millions of dollars. You but sad. First, I got to right. feel bad for you. But, but, but hey. first of all, he worked for that hundred million dollars. He wasn't born into it, so he had to struggle and get it. So I think it's still unfair. Human. We're still human. People are snapping. And I'll tell you what a wise man told me yesterday. Reality has jumped the shark. Ooh. <laughs> Reality has jumped the shark. Not no TV show, not no movie. Ooh. You can't sit there and tell me when you was watching that shit, you, I, I still can't believe you like, saw that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was yeah. like, that ain't real. That's I thought it wasn't real, too. We I was a like, simulation, bro. But, but you people know, actually laughed. You ain't hear when he smacked the people was laughing. Yeah, they thought it was a skit. They, yes, everybody <laughs> laughed. <laughs> they laughed. You, know, you know what made me know it was real? They, they, fro said. they froze the broadcast. Yeah. And then the audio was gone. But you could see Will going, and I'm like, oh yeah, you gotta watch the Japanese version. The Japanese yeah, version. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's the next one I watch. Yeah, that's the next one I watch. They're, they're saying what happened. What yeah. are you doing? No, nothing. <laughs> yeah. Don't even pay him I'm no sorry. attention. Ignore him the way Will like, should ignore here. Chris. Talk to him after the fucking show. <laughs> 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 he can't do so shit like that. Is, the Japanese version is just the sound. Exactly. But he's still yeah, but no like reason. Yeah, like, exactly. who's going like that? Who the fuck is that? You wouldn't be able to see it. They're like, come here. <laughs> oh my gosh, shut up. The Japanese shit was just the audio. It was well, literally just the audio. I love that it happened at the Oscars because the Oscars are supposed to be so prestigious and so elegant and like the the the, the top of all the award shows. Mm. And I feel like sometimes we got to get wake up. This is a fantasy world we're living in right now. Yes. But real life is happening. That's right. So mm -hmm. I'm going to bring right. y'all fantasy people down to real That's right. life. That's right. And Don't. I'm happy Don't. it happened there to wake all the people who live in a fantasy world up. The curtain has been removed. The veil has fallen from everything from Hollywood yes. to politics. These are just regular people dealing with regular shit who go home and cry just like the motherfucking rest of us. And that's, it should never be a shock to you when you hear these celebrities committing suicide. It should never be a shock to you when you see these celebrities checking into rehab. They're fucking human. And I know it looks like, okay, you know what? You got all of this fame. You got all of this money. You should be able to deal with regular, everyday pressures of life. No, those pressures are multiplied times 100. Nah. And the reason, I'm going to tell you why they're multiplied times 100. Your life isn't under a microscope. It's so easy to deal with the bullshit that you're going through when you only got to deal with it on your own. When you got to motherfucking open up your social media and everybody got a fucking opinion about what it is you got to do with it. Well, well, yeah. well, now, well, now, well, now, well, now, you decide to monetize your family and monetize your life. Not, and this is where you got to give it up I to the Kardashians. Not everybody can handle that smoke. Right. K Kardashians, whether you like it or not, are built for that shit. By the way, shit. we don't like know that. Them, Come on, we built don't, for this We shit. really don't know. The Smiths, they might you not know. No, 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 no. We don't know if the Kardashians are built you don't for it or not. You know how many breakdowns or fails We don't know. No, 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 no they true. are. Let me tell you why we they don't are. Because they keep renewing their contract. The one that's not built for it. No, 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 like I use it. It's actually built up. Stop it. Go. And even saying that, you just did. I love it. That's a feeler he put out for Rob. You're lucky. Yes, he's not. Catch me at the Oscars. Yeah, the Go ahead. What you say? No, but the girls are built for it. They keep renewing their contract. They're literally like Kim Kardashian is a billionaire now. Mm. They would have been stopped mm -hmm. the show if they really felt a way about it. Rob Kardashian is the only one. Nah, a lot of That's people true. put their, uh, still... their life through things for money. Yeah. That it, means you built for it then. But no, I, I, you 
got yeah. enough money to retire now. The reason I say time will tell, because Will been in a lifetime. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Will been in it for a whole lifetime, 53 years old. Wow. We've never, Will has literally been, and I, I want to say to LeBron James of Hollywood, but that would make no sense because he's much older than LeBron James. But there's only a couple of people, black or white, that you can name that have never had no situations. Mm. They've never had any off the court, oh. out of, like, like uh, discrepancies. You never heard about Will doing some fuck shit ever. Will, this is yeah. the first time We've never seen... The last time I saw Will this angry was when his daddy left mm. on goddamn Fresh Prince <laughs> and he was crying <laughs> Uncle Phil. This motherfucker ain't even angry like this in action movies. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Bro, the world, is, black, the world yeah. is in the end. He ain't even cigar. that angry. Yeah. You've oh never God. seen this. Oh, my God. Yeah. I ain't know he wasn't angry in I Am Legend. He no, was he sad. wasn't. I that motherfucker sad. calmly... He calmly <laughs> took the grenade and ran into this shit. Did, no, like, you know, like, you don't that one? I don't remember. I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, he he, he ain't slapped he, the mannequin, though. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, <laughs> like, wow. Oh, but to the point you're making, <laughs> see, he can't leave him alone. But to the point you're making, like, Will Smith has had arguably, I mean, you could say one of the greatest careers in entertainment history. The guy has been famous and successful since he's, what, like 18, 18 years yes. old? Yes. He's yeah. 50, so that's 32 years of un- rivaled success. Yes. And and I think this is something that's probably difficult for him. And no controversy. And, and no controversy. And this is something that's probably difficult for him. And Jim Carrey went through it too. I think on some level he recognizes it slipping away. He's probably not getting... Slipping away how? He just won an Oscar. No, Jim Carrey's no, not a good comparison. No. He's like going to the next level. He won an Oscar yeah, right now. Yo, That's he, not, yo, yo, show he just like, had a yeah, breaking yeah, point. He's sitting next I, to I Denzel. How, listen, I love how you broke it down. He's been famous since 18. And this is the first thing that's happened? The movies ain't doing the numbers they used to do. No, that's okay, not that's cool. true. It is true. No, well, it is true. It was, it, he, he, went, he, he passed that already. Here's the thing. What Show is saying was true about six, seven years ago. No, I'm not talking about money. I'm just talking about He had a string of movies, five, that flopped. Yeah. Okay. Will became Will again when he got back on social media and mm-hmm. you started to see the veil drop a little bit. He started to be more real. I think the Rap Radar interview, we don't give that Rap Radar interview enough credit either when B-Dot and goddamn uh, Elliot, Elliot went down to Tibet or some shit like that and interviewed uh, Will Smith. And Will spoke in that interview mm. about how he was trying to shed that character of Will Smith. He was like, yo, I couldn't even fucking curse. He's like, can you imagine having to live life not even being able to curse? And if you read his book, man, his book is phenomenal. I'm not just saying that because it's Will Smith. His book is really great. He talks about how his whole life he had to play a role. And in Hollywood, he made a decision. I want to be the best actor in the world. And they was like, if you want to be the, if you want to be the number one actor in the world, you got to do X, Y, and Z. He's been in character. That, even, that, even that perfect person we saw was a character. But I don't feel bad for that because success is not a prison. If you you are, don't feel bad for it because you've never been that. That's like saying, yo, we don't feel bad for Michael Jackson no, being I've, a child star. I've chosen not to pursue that because it doesn't make me happy. He's chosen to pursue it. He wants to play by the rules of the system because he wants success within the system. But you know as that well as I do. That's make not me fair happy. to say. Talking about shows, you know fair. as well that's as I do. Facts. You know as well as I do. He's saying he can't curse no, because they said you, don't curse. So, but, but you're saying you chose not to be as famous as him? I, ch- I chose not to pursue a career in that path where I would have to worry about what I say, where I have to worry about what jokes I do. I purposely yeah, move myself from the industry because yeah. I know I want it to be myself mm-hmm. and I know I want to create independently. I didn't want yeah. to create with any shackles on me. I, I cared so much about my art. He cared so much about being the most famous actor. And with that mm-hmm. is a cost. Well, guess what, you have to show, pay that cost. You learn that. And you learn that by watching other people. You're true. And I came and in the game later. later. That's you what I'm saying. Will was early. That's true. That's yeah. true. And, 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 and he, not only was he early as a Hollywood star, yeah. a black Hollywood star. I was getting ready to say that. I, I didn't want to bring it back up. That don't like, happen for black people. I was like, no, yeah. that's true. No, I was that's like, true. I hate to make this always Webster. about a black it's thing, but you got to bring the black component into it, though. It is an incredibly important component, and race plays a part in every single discussion that we have. So it's like, to remove it, is to not be honest about what we're talking about. Yeah. The unbelievable pressure to be a young black kid, Will Smith, yeah. to forgo college at MIT. Like, start there. He's, I, a, he's a genius, number like, one. So, so, so to yeah. be a genius, to get into the finest institution on the planet. What is it? MIT. Yes. This oh, is where Harvard. the Big fucking Harvard. geniuses of geniuses go. I believe that he got into MIT. I've never heard of it. I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, he, 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 he had a crazy... But he's IQ, very though. intelligent. So, so, yeah, crazy, but, like, yeah. Even that alone, like being the black person that says no to the to to MIT to pursue a rap career, yeah. it's like 
your parents got to be like, what, 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 where, where did I go that wrong? Sound like, right, that sounds like a teenager, though. Right. But that's why I think Will's journey is so great. And I call him the Willie Lama, and I still call him the Willie Lama even mm-hmm. after what I saw Sunday. Absolutely he is. Because healing hurts. And, 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 and if being whole was so easy, if healing was so easy, we would all be whole, but we're not. Guess what we are? Human. You know what I mean? And humans make mistakes. And guess what? Will probably thought he wanted that. And that's one thing he says in his book that's so profound. He says, I spent my whole life, um, I spent my whole life thinking this is what I needed to gain to be whole. Now I realize I got to spend the rest of my life giving it away to be whole. So imagine thinking that you wanted something, Mm -hmm. getting it and realizing this ain't it. Mm. And now you feel like you're really in a prison because to your point, Schultz, don't nobody want to hear that shit, Mr. Mm, Millionaire, yeah. Mr. Hollywood you star. You don't get a ring, right? Word up. Nobody want to hear that but, shit. But there is certain things that you have to respectfully remove from the public eye because it is disrespectful for them to share those type of, type of problems. For example, right? If you go, ugh, you would never share, ugh, I don't want to stay at that hotel. It's only four stars. You would never share that publicly, right? Because you could be scrutinized. Mm-hmm. So keep that same energy when it comes to your problems. Don't nobody want to hear about your but, fucking but nobody, but about problems. But nobody did. Yo, but they yo, stay No, yo, Will went away. The whole thing. You, yo, fucking I guess you, I'll read a book. Talk, talk, you you got to read his book. Yo, Will went away. There was times where Will said, Will would get on planes and just coach, right? No, not coach, but like, you know, drop a commercial plane and just go places. And the airports would be going crazy. I'm like, oh, that's Will Smith, Will Smith. He'd be staying in like random places in random countries, not hotels and everything, because he was just trying to figure life out. He yeah. did that on his own. He was trying to All find those himself. ayahuasca journeys and everything, he did that yeah. on his own. Yeah, it, it seems like he's trying to find himself. Yes. And, and I mean that sincerely. And even that action yeah. right there is, am I this person? Am I this person who defends the honor of, of my wife? Uh, okay, maybe that is who you are. Maybe it isn't. Now you're apologizing. But it does seem like he's having not a midlife crisis, but more of a crisis of identity. I don't even know. You can't run from your okay. problems. But, yeah. but two things, real quick. I want to talk about the sympathy for the celebrities, how you said, we don't want to hear about your problems. I am nowhere near like a Will Smith or anybody type of famous, but I work so hard. And if somebody says something to me in my comments, I'm going to cut your ass out because nothing's <laughs> given to me. Can I like, say one I'm, thing real quick? Yes. None of us have to say we're nowhere near Will famous, Will Smith type of famous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, we know. Like none of us. Well, I, I just say that. <laughs> I say that because on, on, the, on my small scale, people feel like they can say whatever they want to say yeah, to me because they're it. like, oh, you're on the radio or you're on television, yeah. so you mm. can't. And then when I snap back, they say, you're a public figure. Why did you respond? Bitch, because you got me fucked up. That's <laughs> why I respond. And I want you to know that, like, listen, you you say something wild to me, I'm going to say something wild you back to you. It. And I feel like Will Smith, <laughs> that's why, but this is, this is why I always I love. I never saw that comment. What, what is that? That is so fucked up. What did it say? Uh, Alex got the uh, Will Smith apologizing to the Academy and his fellow nominees. Look at Soldier Boy. Nah, don't cry now, Will. You got to stand on that. that. <laughs> see, motherfuckers don't care. You and that's see the bad part. That's the bad that's part. That's the point. Motherfuckers don't care. Nah, everybody want to laugh. I guess I get it. I guess this, I get it. This is don't care. I guess care. I get it. This is Jaden. Jaden goes, and that's how we do it, right? And then the first comment below it. <laughs> what Jesus it? Christ. Lord, <laughs> Wait, what is it? What Somebody is it? said, this is how August did it. No. Oh my no. God! God. Damn, with a crazy picture, picture. Bro, is, yeah, that's wild. That is, but that's, that's the man, that's the other thing too. And I, leave the internet. Man, see? <laughs> you know what I want? You know, you know what I hope. Man. This is what I hope one day. I hope that everybody gets to take their mask off completely. You can't ever because we don't know these Maybe. people. So it's like so many things that we think we know about individuals. We it's things that we think they care about. It's things that we laugh at that they was already fully aware of. Man. Mm. Yeah, you know what I mean, like. It's just it's just weird to me. And when we talk about people's relationships, you don't know what people's relationship status. Mm, people true. don't be having traditional relationships. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's just like the stuff we make fun of. It's just like yo, they done been there, done that. It's just like we're just getting but, a taste but, of it in the public. That's now. true. But they are. You have to, I think there is a difference when people have a private life. Like there are celebrities that we don't hear about their relationships, and that's a choice. Right. Yeah. We there yes. are people that are happily married or unhappily married, and we don't know because that's Carrie not a choice. Washington is great at it. Like she's great at not talking about her husband, exposing her children. That's it. She she definitely so, like she's the blueprint for that. So I always think if we know about your family, more value. You want us to know about your family. Your your PR company is trying to do things, and you that's are monetizing fair. your family. And if that's the case, if you're putting your family in the fire for monetary gain. That's your choice. It's your family. Y'all can do whatever you want. Well, 
But don't be surprised when the internet does what the internet does. Like That's you true. keep your wife. I'll give you that. You keep your wife private. I keep my wife private. Mm-hmm. I don't monetize my relationship with my wife. I keep my, my husband wife. so private. I don't know where he is. <laughs> 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 I'm about to say, what happened? Yeah. I, I can't even find that nigga. And, He's so private. And here's the thing. And here's the thing. <laughs> This is He's to, lost. This is to our, you could argue, to our detriment when it comes to fame. People love relationships. Jeez. People are obsessed with relationships. Mm. There are whole yes. TV shows about people getting I into relationships. Yeah. The bachelor. We know that if we monetize our relationships, we could be further on, but we choose to protect our loved ones mm-hmm. and not yeah. expose them to like the hate and vitriol to. of the internet. But sometimes there's breaches of security when these hoes start talking. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And if, so no, for real. Yeah, if you, yeah, and, 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 that ain't yeah. a breach of security. You breached the security when you was with the hoes so she could start talking. But what if all of y'all know y'all got hoes? Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? What if everybody know they would got every, what if everybody knows we got hoes? Yeah, who got hoes? What if I got hoes? <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm just saying, I'm just saying, there's a lot of non-traditional relationships out here nowadays. So yeah, what if I got hoes and my wife got hoes and then one of my hoes might talk. One of your hoes might talk. Cut that like, out. I'm just saying. No, there's some shit. Shit. breaches in security. They got hoes. enough money. To Ain't not no have your wife got hoes. Have, that that oh. is not happening. Oh, Andrew, bro. that's 2022, yeah. baby. I don't. Well, that Polynesian sauce is everywhere. Make Everybody's America gonna... great again. Then, <laughs> when, oh, when, when wives God. didn't have hoes, <laughs> whatever year that was, when, let's go back when to when wives that. didn't have hoes, yeah. our hopes, our dreams, anything with H O in it. Oh my God. Nothing. No hoes, no hope. Oh my God, that's a great 23 4 campaign. No hoes, no hope. No hoes, no hope. Oh Soldier boy, go run with it. I am not voting for y'all. That's fucked up. Oh, but for real, man, fuck all that. Man. I'm just saying, man, I just think it's a lot. No, I, I, just, I, I just think it's a lot of psychological, mental, emotional stuff that everybody's going through. And I really do wish the best for everybody in this situation. Because to your point, Andrew, somebody asked me earlier, somebody said, is this bigger than Jay Z? And Solange in the elevator. <laughs> Eddie, 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 our producer, I, asked us that. Yeah. Why are you even gritting your teeth like that, Taylor? It's bigger. It's not even close. Are you crazy? That's what I mean. It's bigger. It's oh, not it's even way close. bigger. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, like yeah. Said, Will It's is, not yeah. even close. Yeah. We're talking about, first of all, let's talk about this setting. An elevator yeah. <laughs> versus the Oscar. 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 <laughs> right? Let's talk about the yeah. setting. Number one, we're talking about Platform. grainy camera footage versus... Dark. 4K, <laughs> HD, <laughs> angles, everything else. Now, Japanese. Now, let's, yeah, got it all. now let's talk about the players. Yeah. Jay-Z. Love Jay-Z. Oh. But Chris Rock and Will Smith have been white famous way longer than Jay-Z. Ooh, You're talking about literally two household you names one red. for over 20 plus years. I think Jay-Z's on the years. same level of stardom as them. I think no, now. He's on the same level of stardom. Maybe. Yeah, 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 maybe. Nah, maybe. Nah, and, I, and listen, not Will. Not By the way, not Will. Will's one of the most famous Will. people on the planet. Exactly, right? not Will. Yeah, yeah. And I love Hove. That's that Hove is one of my idols. Yeah. I call there's, myself there's, a right? Pinkett Smith Winfrey Knowles Carter. Yeah. But Hove will tell you that. Like, no. Yeah. So it's Will and Chris. Yo, you, this is Chris Rock. This is Chris Rock who Saturday Night Live, HBO specials, HBO talk show. Mount one, Rushmore of comedians. Mount Rushmore of comedians. He's been white famous for a long oh, time. Global famous. Like, Globally. Like, anywhere in the I, I, world. I, I, like, I, I, you say what? Oh, that's right. We have we we don't we know we what they said. I mean, oh yeah, we, yeah, we, yeah, we yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. And then I think absolutely. also too. I think the thing with the elevator was we always wondered about Jay Z Beyonce because they were perceived as perfect relationship, like no drama. Jay Z, they're happy, and then we see Solange whipping her ass, which I knew he had to do something yes. because Beyonce wasn't holding Solange back. But listen to what well, you she say. Was Solange but listen back. to what you say. It was the Jay Z Beyonce dynamic. Mm. Right. Not so much the Solange, the Solange of it all. The oh, fact that Solange yeah, yeah, was yeah, B's yeah, 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 sister yeah. made everybody yeah. speculate. This was Will Smith, right. mm-hmm. the biggest, one of the biggest stars in Hollywood ever, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. walking up to Chris Rock, who I think is, the, for me, the best stand-up comedian I've ever seen personally it's, in my yeah. generation, yeah. S- and slapping him. <laughs> at the Oscars. At the Oscars, yo. Come on, yo. At the Oscars. That's crazy. Hilarious. What are we yeah. talking about? Like, don't even, Hilarious. what do we? The only thing close would be yeah. if there was a performer at the Super Bowl and then, like, fucking Joe Montana walked up to the stage and slapped, <laughs> like, Joe Montana slaps Michael Jackson. Joe Montana is not no, as famous Trump, as some, Will Smith or Chris Rock. That's Trump, true. Trump, 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 that's just America. That's right. That's just and America. And I'm so happy it was, again, the Oscars and not the BET Awards because they needed to happen because, in front of people of all of America to witness, like, listen, 
Y'all got y'all y'all got me fucked up. And I'm Will Smith broke. I know he apologized, but I was here for it because he was tired. Somebody and I, should and have I'm still, I'm still yeah. defending on, the moment. It was the next jokes, person. Bro. Yeah. It was jokes, a, I hate you, but the next person who I never could joke. But you know I, what I'm saying? So I would always beat people up for that type of shit. So I don't <laughs> oh, we fuck. joke around all the time. <laughs> no, together. I can't no, joke no. for shit. He, that's because we family. <laughs> he you can't. joke on me and I can't get, I'm not I'm gonna I fuck you it. up. I mean, <laughs> no one will wedge you. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I want to see you. who gonna poke the bear. I'm gonna see if you really gonna poke this bear and let this bear hump you. Always I'm gonna see if you gonna let this bear mount you. <laughs> Charlamagne has <laughs> started Charlamagne has started the lawnmower <laughs> and people be over there mowing the grass. What's that laugh? What's that sinister and laugh? And I fuck them up. Too. Really? I, get, I got plenty of people with wedgies and looking make you look stupid smack you up. My favorite one was the cold sore in Myrtle Beach. That was my favorite one. story. Tell it again. Because it, no, it, <laughs> it really took a while for people to like poke the bear. Like, what happened? He just couldn't He had this big ass cold toe on his lip. The not. joke was excellent. It was like right here. Okay, he had a okay. big cold sore on his lip. Big ass cold sore on his lip. No, so all week he smoked, he, the weekend he's smoking blunts, he's passing them, nobody want to take it, right? They're like, nah, nah, I'm good. People I know smoke weed. I'm like, it's because he got a cold sore, right? Because he got a cold sore. Nobody like, Oh no no no! I'm just I'm on probation. Like no no, make more of make it up to you. Like no 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 no. So our, 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 one of our guys, this motherfucker, he's a lunatic. He can be a lunatic. So I said, okay, he's the one that's gonna jump out the window. Ain't even drinking a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, in the elevator. So we get on the drink it. I know it's got to happen. I'm like, we get on the elevator, and he came with a fire joke. It was good. He was like. Yo, your fucking cold sore needs a wife beater. Yeah, no, <laughs> he needs a right. wife beater. <laughs> he said, your cold sore doing push-ups. And your cold sore, your cold sore is doing some push-ups. Your cold sore got a wife beater on. All the girls on the elevator laughed. It was when the but, girls but, laughed. But yeah. I told him before we got on the elevator, I said, listen, we, we joke together. We got a bunch of girls on this fucking elevator. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Oh, uh, before you told so him, yes. him. Yes, he did. I'm telling you the way up. They ain't funny. Everybody funny. We all yeah. 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 I'm yeah. just not the funny one. I punch people. So yeah. give me you know what 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 he says this. What is your reaction? I don't know the story. So I told him so. We on the elevator. I remember Charlotte there. He here. I'm here. And all the girls is over here. And he said that fucking joke. I'm like, I see your wife put his gloves on. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I did. I'm no, no, shit. And I just you got went, action. Boom. <laughs> I just said to my chest. Uh, the, the drinking he had a drink. Like, Listen, this is the ill part. He had a funny. drink in his hand. <laughs> the water flew out of the cup and landed back in the cup. No, 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 I'm not even lying. It was No, it was liquor. It was perfect. The liquor, the liquor le- flew in the air and landed back in the cup. He just was standing there like. Because the guy didn't want to cry or nothing in front of the girl. So he's just like, (laughs) 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 boom. And then he wouldn't let the guy ride in the car with us. This was before Uber. No. Nah, this shit was fucked up. He had other cars, like three or four cars. Ride with the girls, you made you fucking laugh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Listen, I stand by it. Let me tell you why. Because he was trying to look cool in front of the girls off right. of your pain. Oh, so you don't have to get over reaction. You want to look cool off of my pain? Well, how about you feel pain and that's for how, real? That's what Will did. And you see what I'm saying? And that's goes back to comedians. At times, c- comics. And again, He's funny I, as hell, I by the way. I respect the art. But that's essentially fun. what you're doing is you're making <laughs> light of somebody's pain to get your own satisfaction. Yes. You know, yes. so, so, okay, yeah. Yes. 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 By the way, that's you're right. True. So, so, yeah. that, so, so that is selfish. So if I decide yeah. that I'm mad at your selfishness, I could react however yeah, I want Yeah, he definitely to. wanted the girls to the, the like long him. As, right. it, yeah. as long yeah. as it works within the law. Well, if you, you can, break the well, law, you money. go to jail. Yeah, but I don't but give a shit. I got though. enough money. Mm. I got enough money to take care of that. But by the way, but I'm just saying, it seems like you're giving an okay for people to do acts of violence. And I'm, I don't think you're saying that. Well, not, well, not a, I'm not saying, a shoot. no, what, what I'm saying like is... Like, if you if someone doesn't like what the president's doing, they're not allowed to attack the president. But also, like, shows, here's the thing. Even if you don't have money, nah. if a person chooses to violate you, they don't give a fuck. Like, if you say something about them that makes them want to put hands on you, they just want to put hands on you. Right, but we're not saying that that's allowed or is okay. No. That behavior is repre- reprehensible. Hey man, I just yes, thought. I saw, it, it, I saw, it, it, no, yeah. That's Choke trying to protect yourself. <laughs> right? I'm trying to protect y'all. I don't want but you guys that, out here going, mean? hey, you should be able to punch someone for jokes. And then you've had situations. No, I'm not saying that. No, I'm not saying that. You've had situations where people attacked you over jokes, bro. And nothing I can do about it. Yeah. Yes, there is. You got to wax. Again, yeah, but that's what you got to do. You hire your security or you fucking, you I, know, you you you, you right. get your gun, you do you whatever it is I you think do. It's, but, but this is what I would say, though. I think it's unfair to poke somebody so much and say, well, legally you can't hit me. You know, can't do don't, that, like, like, you know, don't do that, 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 that to get hit because you, you, you might get hit. You might get you know, hit, man. And you might, and, and and you might catch the these jokes. You might catch And you might catch more now that I know you're sensitive. Nah, people want to say that's what you get then. Like, you kept fucking with them. 
Leave that Listen, fucking I'm, I'm no fucking tough guy. I've never been a tough guy out here. I'm not trying to say I'm, but I love this this comedy shit. And I love jokes. Everybody so when I see people you. acting crazy like that. You know what you need to do? Get you somebody to hold you down while you on that stage. Because yeah. motherfuckers is crazy now. Wax. I just saw somebody pull out a gun at a Mike Tyson show. You oh, know yeah. what I'm saying? You ain't see that shit? Oh, I didn't see that video. That shit was cold. That's stuff you need to see. The dude pulled you know, the gun out. Well, no, they said the dude tried to fight Mike. Right? Yeah. Oh, he wants to fight Mike. Mike's in a fight and then he pulled out a gun. On somebody luckily, else. Luckily, they hugged it out. But that could have all ended bad. That shit could have ended bad. Like, it's like, yo, we've seen... We've seen enough situations where comedians have gotten attacked on stage. I saw somebody, I think Donnell, Donnell put out a top 10 list of comedians you don't run up on when they're on the stage. Ah, you know what I'm saying? And I think he was like number five because of some situation that happened back in the day. But it's uh -huh. the truth. Like, you, people are sensitive. And I know it's easy to say, like, oh, man, you shouldn't have came to this comedy show if you're sensitive. Well, no, but, you, you can go. You can leave. Nobody's upset about that. Just don't sit in the front. Just, or don't sit in the front. Like, or just, you can go. You can leave. You're allowed to be upset. No any comic that says, yeah. oh, you're not allowed to be upset, shut the fuck up. That's, That's bullshit. Yeah. That's Everybody's true. allowed to react the way that they yes. want to react. But you have to understand that this is comedy and there are going to be feelings hurt. And we don't know what's going on in every single person's life that's in that crowd. Mm -hmm. We're just trying to make jokes, trying to make light of things. How we don't know you, you got going? a fucking disease. How, 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 we how thought you just looking comedian? good with a bald head. How long have you been comedian? 15 years or something like that. How many guys jumped on you? I got punched in the face once. On stage. Yeah, how really? What was the joke? I told career? you guys this. I did oh, yeah, way yeah, back did, in the did, day. Did, yeah, did, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you understand it. You don't like it, but you understand it. Yeah. And by the way, nobody should like it. Like, you don't want to get attacked no, for doing whack. your craft. Right, and so then hold the on. You stood there and let the guy punch you like Chris did? No. So I was doing a show at, in a play in a bar, Cafe Mocha. Shouts to Smokey Suarez. I love Smokey. Smokey, Smokey would put me up all the time. Dude. And it, it's, it's, it was what we call a hood room or the Chitlin Circuit or whatever the fuck they call it. Basically, there's like a black comedy scene as well. Uh -huh. But it's in New York. Chitlin? Like I, what the fuck? Bro, they, they called it that. I don't fucking know. But, uh, God damn, man. but it's in New York. So I, I, I grew up in New York. I don't give a fuck who's there. Let's just work on some yeah, jokes. I wasn't funny yet. And I was just making fun of this Puerto Rican dude. And then he walked up to me, but there's no stage. So I didn't know if he was going to the bathroom. Like people just walk by you in a bar. Right, so he right. just stands right in front of me. I'm like, what's up, man? And then he goes, you tell me what's up. And he just swings on me. Right. But the dudes went and grabbed him and the dudes grabbed me and they separated me Please. from him before I could not do anything to him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm in Harlem. I'm going to start fucking up this Puerto Rican guy. Nah, he got cousins. Yeah, yeah. Get the fuck out of here, right? <laughs> but luckily, Literally. they separated us and then uh, gave me back the mic. And then I kept doing my thing. But I kept doing my thing. I did not. Yeah. And I clowned his ass after they threw his ass out. Yeah. Now, granted, he wasn't there. But you keep on doing the jokes. <laughs> and I went back the next week and I did the jokes again. Now, that was the best part about Rock the whole thing. Chris Rock is going to do that. He's he better. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris Rock did a great job. He's definitely going to talk if, about it. If Chris don't got a strong 20, 25 added yeah. to his ego death. And by the way, it's a perfect. Son, it's ego a perfect. Death. Ego death is perfect. Yeah, he you put it out mean? there in the world. It's perfect. Ego death is a perfect uh, title to talk about that situation. That's the name of his, um, this issue? Yeah, it's stand-up yeah. show. I, I, don't, I don't know if him and Kev's show got a name because him and Kev going out this summer. and then Which is dope. Yeah, and then Chris is going out. But I mean, listen, and then we're probably gonna end up doing something together. They going absolutely yeah. like yeah. This is the first time we've seen somebody have no, not somebody, somebody like Will have a meltdown and, like and, this. And, and we but gotta give him. We've grace seen for it that. before. We've seen. I'm surprised he hasn't broke earlier. To be honest, exactly. <laughs> when he when he started saying he was throwing up after coming or some shit, what was that? Well, I don't know about that, Andrew. After no, having I heard sex, something like after that. having sex, somebody. he was throwing up. It was a reason for that, though. I remember the girl in the book. pussy thing. I oh, think it wasn't, oh my man. God, I don't it might have been that. No, it la, wasn't. La, 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 no, 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 he, he, no, no. It's because he. It was because he was in love and he wanted to be with the woman, okay. but they broke up. And so when he was trying to ego feeding his ego out here sleeping with a whole bunch of different women, he knew he didn't care about them, mm -hmm. and he knew these relationships were meaningless. And he said it would make him physically sick. Mm. Yikes. Listen, he's a very self-aware individual, man. I like that. And I'm gonna tell y'all something else. The more you tear your mask off. The more you start ripping that mask off, sometimes skin gonna come off with that motherfucker. Mm. And what you saw Sunday, you saw skin come off. You know what I mean? Like, he took a lot of skin off on Sunday, so I just hope this continues to give him the courage to really just keep showing up as himself. I don't, I don't, I don't want you to get him an out, though, I keep saying mental health. They're like, I think that's just him reacting off somebody doing something to his wife. That's mental health, Wax. What are you talking about? So if I'm protecting my family as mental health, he had a breakdown. It wasn't just what, over what, the protection of the family. He's protecting like, his family, though, by standing up for his wife. He right. said it in his apology. He wife. said in his apology. Probably just saying mental health. Just, just, no, just, man. The water no, down. No, no. Taylor really wants to say something. Come here, Taylor. Oh, go on that okay. microphone, Taylor. Unlike these people, I would never silence a black queen. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> no, Kendra, don't hurt me for this one. It's real. But I'll fight you. <laughs> based off of what happened, was it last year with the entanglements and all the other stuff, right? Mm hmm. I love Jada. Your braids are entangled. 
Your braids look beautiful. Are you supposed Damn, to yeah. Don't we just talk about protecting black women? What's up with you? This is, y'all yeah, what's up y'all with gotta you? stop using that hashtag out of context. What's up with you? That had nothing to do with protecting black women. It is. We were talking about hair and everything you else. You can't say anyway. about black women here, bro. <laughs> yeah. I mean, te- look, technically speaking, they're twists, right? But, are they but, tangled? <laughs> and they Listen, are tangled, right? Tangled, Charlotte, that, I mean, that is If she had a man, if he had to hit you, you wouldn't know you could do. Nothing I could do. Yeah. Nothing I could do. Yeah. Are, are Char- is Charlemagne's hair entangled at all or nothing? You need to relax. Wait, that, you need to relax. Because like I could be suffering from alopecia. <laughs> 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 you all realize? You can see what happened with Will. Right? I could be suffering from alopecia. I could be suffering from alopecia. You need to be suffering from alopecia. You don't know. We're going to do it. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. Like you said at the beginning, Andrew, we're going to let this black queen speak. So that's what I'm talking about. That's the point you want to make, sweetheart. Go ahead. Make your point. Okay. I have a question. What is alopecia? Anyway, say what? Stop it! Wait, wait, they, wait, listen, we're gonna listen. Go ahead, we're they listening. They grow in to Georgia you. a lot. <laughs> they do. They grow. Like there's a whole show, the Real Housewives of Atlanta. They hold them. I get all. They do. 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 No, for real, for real. Do y'all Peaches think is at any at any term that uh Will may resent? Jada, though. No. I'm not even having that. No, 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 no. Only reason, no, no, no. Only reason I'm saying this. No. Yeah. 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 He's saying yeah. he got poked We're not silencing up. black women on no, this no, podcast. No, no, no. Just, I'm just opening this discussion. Open I'm just saying, up. with what Open. happened with entanglements and everything else, right? You saw yeah. all this poke fun at Will, like, oh, he's weak, da, da, da. And no then now Jada. he's um, standing up for Jada, and now what if he gets his Oscar taken away or anything else like that? You I don't think Oscar's maybe no, First possibly? of all, okay, I, I got to disagree with you By the so way, strongly. D- these are the kind of conversations that piss them off, I bet. Yeah, like, like <laughs> first of all, I'm just like saying, this. no, I'm just asking. I like this discussion. This no, is no, a great the, discussion. The, the, the whole thing with the entanglement is Jada. It's a great discussion. Yeah, Jada, are you asking if Jada is actually a sorceress? Shut up. <laughs> is that what you're asking? That's not what he's saying. It does sound like that. It does sound like that. Will under a spell. No, and I don't, and I don't know how you want to. Saying it's under, as soon as she no, broke that spell, she, she, out. She, no. just, she, she just, she, she no. just jumped on me and told me I need to protect black women, but then she attacks no, black women. No, I'm not attacking her though. She just put her, all though. the blame on the black yeah, women. That's kind of fucked up. You put all the blame no, on the black I'm women. Saying, yeah. pause, let me we, respond to that though, because it's almost like you're saying all the pain and the sorrow that Will is receiving is because of his wife Jada. No, no, no. I'm not saying that's all of it. I'm not saying that's all of it. But I'm just saying, some of it, from, some of it. from these past couple of years, it's been from Jada. Yeah. Well, 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 first of all, we Jada, Jada has been exposed. I love Will Smith. They have whatever they do in their marriage. His stuff just is not in the front line. I'm quite of sure. Course. I'm quite yeah. sure Will Smith has done some things that we're just not talking absolutely. about. No, nope. so, absolutely, absolutely. So with that, nope. no, absolutely, we don't know these people. Why. Nope. I'm Nobody telling. knows that. We There's don't no know proof. these. We don't I, know the these people. The reason why I think nope. it's true is that as hard as he's going for, it because most black men are going to leave you. He left his girl for. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> oh. Okay. okay. <laughs> What's this? What's Was that her? <laughs> Wait, did you feel her? You gotta see oh, what I'm saying? God. So the fact that he wanted We're to We're back say, in the elevator! <laughs> We're back yeah, in the elevator! Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. 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 So the fact, so the fact <laughs> that he won't stay with a woman because she's Whoa, you know, Will's saying by Jada through thick and thin lets me know that he got some Wait, shit. Wait, what, what was thick and thin? The fact that she slept with August Alcina, and this is just something oh. that we know. I'm quite sure there's other things. But yeah. he's, he, he is still standing by his wife no matter what. And most men will leave a woman if they cheat on them. So I yes. feel like I no, feel like because Will he's standing Smith, by her, he's done something. Will Smith said that him and Jada have never Cheated on each other. No, no, I'm not saying that they have an understanding in their Will marriage. Smith and Jada said that Will said when he did the interview with Gail King that there has never been infidelity in their relationship. But look, just how you that said tell that, y'all everything Will, y'all need to but know. But look, but Jesus I'm Christ. not saying nothing about cheating. I'm just saying though that you just you're said, blaming black women. I'm not blaming black like, no, women. You're I'm not. just you're saying black women. No, no you're I'm not. just saying just how you said that all his life, Will was feeling type of way that he didn't stand up for his mom or whatever. I can't believe you. All that. Stop. I'm just saying. You don't yeah. think that's going to sink I think it? it's frustrating. I think it's frustrating. That's I think what I'm it, saying. You don't think it's, it's hard to evolve. I don't think I could ever evolve to a point where dudes are smoking out my wife on a regular. <laughs> like, I don't <laughs> think, I don't think I'm capable that of that. Way, and the guy's a singer? <laughs> and Yeah. Come on. Why are you kidding me? Could y'all evolve to that point? Wait, say it again. Singer so, where other wife? men are sleeping with my wife. I don't think I could evolve to that. Right, exactly. No, so, so well, I guess I think. So, so, so the point I'm saying is, but let's say if you guys have that, like, Will does his thing, Jada does her thing. It's just Jada's mess got in, put in front of the world. And that's Will's, why you're in Will's mess didn't get in, put in front of the world. Oh, 
call them a mess, whatever, the, whatever case may be. And that's why I feel like he's so supportive. He doesn't have a mess. Exactly. He definitely has. How, how do you know definitely you know, you know not one girl exactly. came out? Why are you putting because, that because on? Let me I tell see. you why. Because I if he see. didn't, because if he didn't, he would leave her. Because if he wasn't, if, if it wasn't an equal relationship, sorcery. sorcery. If it was equal, you you would see him. She by got a sorcery. Woman, yo. You would see him by. Okay, listen. You're the perfect husband, right? Why you're not he? cheating. You're not what? doing anything. Hold on, real quick. Okay. You're not doing anything outside <laughs> of your marriage, and then your wife has cheated, slept with this person, and then that. Yikes. You're you gonna know, stay by her, I, and I, you I, didn't do nothing. Can I tell? I, I gotta be on the spot. Can I tell? Under respect. Can I tell these beautiful black women something? My sister Kendra G, my niece Taylor. I don't like how y'all put the blame on. Jada as a black woman, and then, now, and then now y'all accusing this black man, Will Smith, of nothing. No, I am. Where is this yeah. evidence There's no evidence. Why, black, why do all black why? men got to cheat? Yeah, it's right. No, it's not Why true. are all black, black men person, guilty so before proven innocent? Black, black, black men don't cheat. I don't cheat. You don't cheat? Yeah. Why are y'all doing this for Will and Jada? What did Will do? We have nothing. Listen, we're only dealing with the small sample size that we have of these people's lives. Will has, there's no, Will doesn't have anything. So why are we making no, this up? Will is okay, okay, why, okay. Can't Will, why can't Will? Will okay, why can't Will? Okay, you know what? Go with that. Go with that. Let me tell you real quick. Why can't Will just love his wife in the same sorry, way sorry. women <laughs> stick besides their men yeah. when men do whatever they do? Why yeah. can't he just be doing that? Wait, wait, wait. Why is that a foreign concept? No, you're completely missing what I'm saying, though. That's crazy, bro. I'm not saying that, though. I'm not saying that he can't. Well, I'm definitely... Let me ask you this. So you're telling me if your wife cheated, slept with someone, you know it's the rapper, and you did nothing. You were faithful the whole time, did nothing outside of the box. You would stay. At this point in my life, Yes. Prime example. I'm gonna tell you what I'm talking about right now. This is what Will is doing. The best man in the movie. Yeah, Moonshot, you look great. He's a great guy. He's, yeah, he's, 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 he's amazing. He, he's I think he's under the spell of the president of the United States. He's under the spell. But also, Charlemagne has been open. The president of the United States. But hold on, real quick. Charlemagne is also open about his past. So yeah, it's it almost like this is what I'm saying it's about space. Will Smith. Okay, I'm using the movie The Best Man. In The Best Man, Tay Diggs slept with. He found out his wife slept with Tay Diggs, and he stayed uh -huh. with her. He stayed with her because of all the bullshit that he had did in the past. So what I'm saying is, God bless. Bless you, Andrew. I'm sorry. No, you I don't, I don't, that, that, that's, that's not true. It is He true. stayed with him because he read the Bible and he knew that he had to forgive. And he also know he did shit himself. And, that's true. and she wanted to He never dinner. cheated on her. And, and, and he yes, wanted to. Yes, what you talking about? Lance was so a football much. player, man. He was sleeping oh, with women all the time. Stop, stop, Lance stop, had so stop, many stop, side chicks in the best man. Hey, bro. I cannot believe you. It's not a black man. No, no. You should not say a black man cheated, bro. It's a movie. No. It's a fictional tale. I can't believe you, man. Oh, no, bro. We're not going to put those stereotypes out there. The world. Will stuff is just not the point of conversation, and that's why he's because he has nothing. All right, but guess what? That's even, even oh, if he whatever, don't. Whatever. That's, that's two drug dealers, and this one got caught. Right. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And then you, you, you got to jail. You want give the drug dealer analogy, wax? Why? 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 You, you understood it? Do you understand? You gotta sell drugs. Why you gotta do me like that? I can't all believe black you. Men cheat, they sell drugs. Why are you bringing me down? Now you put the drug dealer. But did you understand it better though? Right? No, I didn't. <laughs> Come on, yo. She did. I did. I got you. I got Thank you. you. Then got caught selling drugs. We sending everybody healing energy, man. And you know, they, I don't think there's a right or wrong in this situation. I really, truly don't. I don't think Chris was wrong. I don't think Will was wrong. I just think everybody needs motherfucking healing. I think Chris is wrong from like, I mean, like at least putting his guard up. And like I said earlier, you know, healing is hard. Yeah. And, and if it wasn't hard, all of us would be whole. But we're not whole. We're human. Yes. And that's what everybody needs to remember. This business is crazy, man. Mm. It's wild. It's a crazy business. And it's getting in, even bro. crazier. Yes, because it is. The reason it's getting crazier Boy. is because all of this shit that we used to see in like satire, that we used to see in spoofs, it's that we used to see on the boondocks, oh, it's really sweet. happening in yeah. real life. Bart no, Simpson. let me tell you why it's getting crazier. Because so many people have, there's more voices. Too like, many voices. Like, like, so like yeah. Before back in the day, social media platforms didn't exist. I'm with you. So it was a select amount of people that, that could make their opinion on stuff. Mm -hmm. Now everybody has a voice. Exactly. Everybody can make a comment. And then that goes along with your mental health. Because now you're listening. Before back in the day, shout out to Wendy Williams. She was very outspoken. Now there's 20,000 people. The, everybody's lying if they say they don't feed in to what other people say. If you really want to be successful, you really have to disconnect. You have to turn that shit off. Yeah. Like you have to, you know, do whatever it is that you're doing without listening to the opinions of others because the opinions of others will ruin you. And I'm not even talking about just bad opinions. I'm talking about good fucking opinions. Mm -hmm. That's why when my daddy used to tell me you're never as good as they say you are and you're never, never as bad, bad as they say you are, either. that's how you keep yourself in check. You Facts. can feed your ego every day. You can feed your narcissism every day simply by listening to that one little echo chamber, which is small. But in our mind, we think it's the biggest thing in the world. There's so many people out here that think like, 
Yo, everybody's checking for them and everybody's talking about what they're doing and everybody's paying attention to them. No, it's not. It's those three or four people on social media mm. that when you post a picture, they leave a comment for you and now you feel like you bigger than life when the reality is you're this small in the bigger scheme of things. Mm. The only validation you should have is the validation that comes from within. Mm. Everybody else's validation don't matter. In the mirror. External validation don't matter. Internal validation is the most important. You would not be who you are right now if you kept listening to the opinions of others. That is Jeez. true. We sat in, listen, not in this studio. I've watched Andrew, and I don't, and I, don't I don't know if we've shared this before. I watched you cry. Yeah. Over the fact he couldn't get roles as a white man in Hollywood. No. Yo, you know how it fucked up that is? Yo, bro, if, if you was really crying for that, none of us gave a fuck. We were like, damn, what the fuck is wrong with you? You can't get a role? Like, you not white for real? <laughs> Oh, God. That's hilarious. That was that's good. Funny. That you can't, you can't go, let's go, let's say nothing, bro. Yeah. I don't even know what to say. That's funny. I was reliving the oh, vulnerable oh, moment. Oh, oh, that was oh. good. I enjoyed you, Andrew. I enjoyed our I feel like you've done opinions. the podcast before. No, I've never no, no, did the no, podcast no, no, before. No, no, no. Yeah, this is dope, Interesting. though. Interesting. Nice to meet I, you, I, I, I actually can walk away. I'm better in person. You're better in person? Meaning, like, if you meet me, you get yeah, it more. I, no, you do. You're definitely a person you got to get to know. No, I like, no. <laughs> you, you give me a hand towel, Taylor. You know why I like this, though? I like this because these are two people who I love hearing their commentary. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So when you see them come together and it's like, oh, okay, I already know what this is going to be. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this going to especially be due to the topic. But, yeah. I know, but what I love the most is we could agree to disagree. We're obviously coming from different perspectives. Yeah. Like I was coming from the strong black perspective. You're like, I'm coming from the comedy strong yeah. black perspective. Mm. And I respect that. And even though we don't agree on everything, I love that we could agree to disagree in yeah. a respectful way. Because at right. the end of the day, we were here marriage. for 100 years. So like, let's make, if, if we're lucky, so like, right. let's make the most, like none of this shit, I know it sounds crazy, but like, none of this shit really, really matters. matters. Yeah. At the end of the day. Right. Like, like, Eat, sleep, and shit. That's, that's it. it. Yeah. Like, take care of your people. Like, so like, let's have some fun. Let's talk about it. Like, this is fun. We had some right. distraction this week. Yeah. Cool. Like, yeah. I always look a little Duval when he says this kind of stuff. And he's just Thank like, what are we just getting distracted by? How are we enjoying Always our time it. while we're here? And that's if we're getting it. too yeah. caught up and angry in it, then we're missing out the point. That's your right. Unless you're getting angry or somebody else's shit. Somebody else's it's life. Somebody else's Fuck. shit, man. Yeah. Like, What's with y'all? That's why I said, like, this should not take your week. This should not take over your week. Ah, this should not consume your yeah, week. Yeah, yeah, Everywhere I want it did, though. It's no, it's no, it's it's yeah. We got no, to do it. It did. No, you got to give it to um, Saturday Night Live. They got to do it this weekend. SNL's going to do it. And then after SNL does it, the Commodore. They're going to definitely mock I, this. I, I love Pete Davidson. That's, They're going to mock that's, this, that's, for sure. That's family. I love Chris Red. I am not sitting around waiting for Saturday Night Live. But they're going to mock it. <laughs> on this Will Smith, Chris Rock situation. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think they less. got this one. I'll be honest. <laughs> no, I think, I think no. they're going to step away from By this By the way, one. they got Let's the hardest see. job because... They gotta come after everything. You can't exactly. All the jokes been made. The satire is done. Like yeah. this is work. Yeah. This is better than yeah. satire. Yeah. This is better than sketch. There's nothing you can do. If it happened yeah. Thursday, maybe, but it's kind of too long. No, wait. it's too massive for them not to touch on it. It's the biggest thing. They're gonna touch on it. Yeah, they're, they're gonna, gonna touch it. Yeah, 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 the they're gonna try. It's so they're possible. gonna touch it, but it's like, how can it be funnier than what we've seen on the internet? It can't be. They got rules. The internet got no rules. I am Karen could be funny. I am Karen is fire. <laughs> there you go, <laughs> SNL. There you go. Take it. Yeah, Run yeah, with yeah. it. Let's pay some bills, man. We'll come back and uh, do some asking idiots. Perfect. All right, guys, we're gonna take a break for a second because today's episode is brought to you by Squarespace. Okay, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Stand out with a beautiful website, engage with your audience and sell anything, your products, content you create, and even your time. I'm telling you, you do not have a real business if it doesn't have a website. You need a place for your business online, especially if you're selling things. And Squarespace can set all of that up for you. Squarespace makes it easy for creators to monetize their content and, and the expertise that they have in delivering is unbelievable, okay? With member areas, you can unlock a new revenue stream for your business and free up time in your schedule by selling access to gated content like videos, online courses, or newsletters. Create pro-level videos effortlessly, okay? The Squarespace Video Studio app helps you make and share engaging videos to tell your story, grow your audience, and drive sales. 
Stand out in any inbox with Squarespace email campaigns. Collect emails, subscribers, and convert them into loyal customers. Start with an email template and customize it by applying your brand ingredients like the site colors and logo. They've got built-in analytics and measure the impact of every single send. Use those analytics and insights to grow your business. Learn where your site visits and sales are coming from and analyze which channels are the most effective. Improve your website and build a marketing strategy based on your top keywords or most popular products and content. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash idiot with the offer code idiot for 10% off your first purchase. Now let's get back to the show. We got church announcements? Uh, Yo, yes. Radio City, man. Uh... I'm there, April 16th. April 16th. We did it, bro. Two shows. I think we got a couple, like, single seats left, but goddamn, we sold 12,000 tickets, man. It's pretty fucking up, right? right? Come on, bro. Okay, okay. I was say, Come on, bro. 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 Come on, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> or slap you down, either one. So you saying your show? I have to hear that shit. He might slap you down. down. <laughs> 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 oh, so yeah, thank you so much. And then the infamous tour is wrapping up. We got a uh, where we got a uh, Montreal this weekend. Then we got um, Atlantic City and the Vancouver, and then that's it. And finally, chill out. Take some time. Write a new hour. Special coming this year, all right? Yeah, yeah. Special okay. coming too. Special okay. coming too. So that'll be good. I'm excited. Hey, what do you got, Wax? What you got? Yes, I'm gonna um, use the bathroom real quick. You guys start. Beast, right. um, oh, that's so, that, that is so white of you to leave as the black man wants to give his shout out. I got you ready. <laughs> hey, check out who's Wax. It's his stores in California. It's his stores in Jersey. <laughs> oh, we got, oh wait, wait, New York. New York as well. Get the we got the Delta Eight. The gummies are crazy. Ooh, whoswax.com. Whoswax.com. Oh, also, don't, we got the paintball. Don't the address. Make sure you go to. Um, you know, 106 in Columbus and New York City, we, we're in there. I'm going to grab some Ace, man. It's really dope. Um, Who's Wax Airsoft. We got the Airsoft Podcast Wars coming up really soon, man. Y'all get y'all 10 on 10 team. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's get it. What you got, Kendra G? Oh, wow. Look, I'm going to, okay, you know, I host the morning show in Chicago, WGCI. Yep. Um, also, I host a show on All Black Network. It's a streaming app like Hulu, yeah. Netflix, but it's called All Black. The show is called Social Society. We drop our episodes on Mondays. and But more importantly, follow me on Instagram. The first hundred people to follow me on Instagram, I follow you back. Kendra G Media. I'm going to follow you too, then. And you, you, are you already following me. Okay. You're not following me? Yeah, I'm following you. Oh, uh, but don't like any of my pictures because yeah. he's always, this, this is Wax problem. Alex. Let me get Wax problem. You already wax, know. It's not hey, really a problem. Alex. No. Women just like to have sex with him. Hey, so Alex. So he's always going to have Why are you so, mad? Why are you listening? You, so, you gave so, her all this information? No, I don't. Where'd she get all this from then? Mm. You all sound for the black I'm woman. I'm trying to help you heal right now. Here? Heal. 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 Um, heal. Here? Heal. Here. Because you're hurting. I'm hurting then. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I can't put him on blast. Lord Jesus. <laughs> Alex. Gotcha. Alex, you don't know nothing. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you gotta keep all this. Do not, do not dump Alex. anything that I said. Let me see uh, asking this. Let's do some asking idiots, man. Wait, Charlotte, what's your announcement? Oh, shit. Uh, just always, man, um, blackeffect.com. But make sure you go check out uh, Finding Tamika on Audible. That is uh, the first project for me and Kevin Hart's SBH. Productions um, narrated by Erica Alexander, created by Erica Alexander and Color Farm. Um, go check out Finding Tamika. Thank you for everybody that's been, you know, buying Finding Tamika, listening to it. It's a tremendous success, and uh, we thank you. And make sure um, to uh, scream the God's honest truth on Paramount Plus. Okay, mm. make sure you scream season one of the show. We cooking up uh, for season two, but. Make sure you still continue to check out season one of The God's Honest Truth on Paramount Plus. We'll be back this summer. Yes. With season two. Uh, let's. What, what we got for Ask an Idiot, Taylor? No, because I got to go. We got places to be. And I mean, is, really, is there really anything else worth talking about? That's what I said, though. We shout out the whole nah. Yeah. So we shout out the whole week, so. She said, let's talk about the, uh, the don't say gay bill in Florida. I'd rather hear Boosie talk about that. Yeah. Can we um, go when to. When will this drop? Me too. What? This, on this tomorrow. Episode. Oh, tomorrow? Tomorrow. 
Let's do some asking idiots. Uh, this is a segment of the show, Kendra, where we ask three questions. Okay. From uh, people who answer questions. listen to the podcast. Okay. Barrick. Oh, this is a. Oh man, I'm gonna wait for Joe Schultz to come back to answer that question. Um. <laughs> Joe Tillman says, "No question, but a statement. You can't tell a man how to defend his wife." You're right. Um, okay, this is a good one. Cruz SMB says, if you could upgrade any part of yourself physically or mentally, what would it be? Um, uh, physically or mentally? Okay. Are we, are we answering this? Mm -hmm. Oh, without Andrew. Okay, so what's the question again? If you could, if you could upgrade any part of yourself physically or mentally, what would it be? As I'm getting older, my stomach <laughs> is not as flat as it used to be. So I'm, I'm having stomach self-consciousness right now. Mm. And I have money but I'm a worker. So I'm running the New York City Marathon this year. I don't think I haven't told you that. But okay. I'm running the New York City Marathon. I gain, I'm hoping that in the training process, which I believe I will, I will lose all the COVID weight that I gained. But, you know, a girl be thinking about getting the surgery, but I think I'm better than... A little tuck here, a little tuck a there? A little tuck here and there, but I, I, I'm a worker. I like to work for mines. I like to say I actually was disciplined to have this. So that's the one thing I would change if I could. What about you, Wax? If I could upgrade anything in my life, uh, be my bank account. You said physically or mentally, man. <laughs> and mentally will help me out with my bank oh, account. Oh, you said physically or mentally. Oh, like my brain or I try yeah. to explain my brain. I can't read. Because you're already made physically perfect? I don't know. I don't, my, my brain is, is it needs to expand. Ah, okay, okay. Um, Cruise SMB, everything I'm trying to upgrade in my life physically and mentally, I'm currently doing. You know what I'm saying? That's why I work out the way I do. That's why I diet the way that I do. And, you know, mentally, every day of my life, I'm trying to be better. I'm trying to get smarter. I'm trying to get more emotionally in tune. You know what I mean? That's mm -hmm. why we go to therapy. That's why, you know, we read these self-help books. That's mm -hmm. why we have sacred purpose coaches. That's why we have, you know, spiritual leaders. Like, you know, every day I am trying to get better physically and mentally. And, you know, the best way to upgrade yourself is just to do it. It's not like those things aren't available. The only thing physically I would love to change about myself, two things I would love to change that I don't know if I can. Mentally, I wish I could retain everything that I take in. Okay. Information-wise. Because I'll read a book and I'll remember parts of it. You know what I mean? No matter how many times I read it, it's just like that certain things stick to me, certain things don't. And physically, I just want to, I would, I would, I would like to have a bigger penis. Hmm. Hmm. I would. Why you have a wife? What's what's the purpose? What's the purpose when you already have a wife and you have beautiful children? I want one of them intimidating dicks. But why? Who's gonna notice it besides my your wife? wife? And, and she's and already happy with the one she has. I know, has. but I just want a little some. I got like baby bears porridge. So it's, so, so, it's so just you're, right. So, so but you're I want saying the, that you're small, basically. No, no, I'm not small. Yeah, well, you must be small if you no, want to no, no, increase no, no, the, no. the length. I'm, and, I'm average. Yeah, I'm seven inches three fourth. Eight when it's warm. I am eight when it's warm. So summertime, I'm. No, I mean... I mean, but what's the purpose when you're happily married? Like, unless you're trying to be... Like, okay, you, when you're happily married and you're not going nowhere, like, I think it's necessary for, like, a wax who's out here in these streets, right? But it's just dope. Like, when you watch a porn and you see... <laughs> when you watch a porn and you see the lady pull first, that shit okay, out and that shit, like, drop like well, a gun. let me gun. say this. First of all, what you may not know, women you don't... You, you run, can't be, But you can't be too big because too big can be dis yeah. uncomfortable for some women and they don't want that either. I'm, and by the way, I'm just a, I'm a grower, not a shower. I just want a little bit more for show. Like when you first step out the shower, you know what I mean? Like you don't want to just be grabbing for the towel because you don't want bro, her you got, to see you, you like that. You got to you got beaches that get, you got to hit it on. Oh my you God, no. try all that. Stop done, it. Been there, done that. I thought you were going to say change your book. teeth since you're going through all that right now. I'm doing that though. Oh, okay. That, that well, physically, I can't change your okay. penis size. There's no BBL for dicks. <laughs> there actually is a surgery. It is? It is? Yeah. It is. Really? There's like, you gotta look I heard it just does girth. Oh, I don't know. Oh. Okay. What else we got, um, Alex? I wonder if it takes filling away. That's kind of wild. That's his name. Oh, my bad, Taylor. Damn. I'm like, what you mean? You trying to erase black men? <laughs> <laughs> what do we got, Is Alex Taylor? on like a show or something like that? Hmm? Is Alex on a show like Will of Fortune or something? People yeah, Alex Trebek, he died. They run into Alex. He died. <laughs> he did? Yeah, he died, yeah. man. I'm sorry. I'm Blue here. 305. Answer that one, Wax. Blue 305. Blue 305. Uh, blue 305. Blue 305. Blue 305. Wax and Carla update. Whoa. Oh, Whoa. Wax and Carla update. Wax and Carla update. Um, we're blessed. God's blessing us. Um, you should have just said, I can't read. You know what I'm saying? We're blessed. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, what answer is that? We're all God, blessed. We're, we're, we're are y'all still here. together? We woke up this morning. You're still, woke are, up this are, morning. Did y'all wake, wake up we're together? Did right you wake mind. up in the same bed? He put his food on my Did table. Did you wake up in the same bed? Did you and Carla wake up in the same bed today? 
He didn't ask you about what the good Lord, Lord did to you. The question was, me. did you and did you and Carla wake Lord up in the same bed this Jesus. morning? When's the last time you spoke Lord, to Carla? Mercy on me. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Lord have mercy on me. Hey, okay, let's go to Giro. <laughs> Giro underscore. Giro underscore says, where did this Will and Chris situation put us on the black progress scale? It put us nowhere. And we got to stop saying that. It, it didn't, did nothing to us. It didn't set us back. No way. You know what I mean? It didn't take us forward. It, it could take us forward because we could. I re- think it took us forward. I think it could take it us did. forward because we could have some real <laughs> conversations about, you know, um, people in how to deal with things. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And how we all got to have our outlet. You know what I mean? Who does the go-to person, you know, go to? Like The outlet on his face. That's what I'm saying. Like, yo, <laughs> black men, black men have to have Big real sale. spaces. Black men have to have real spaces <laughs> in order to express their feelings. They got to be safe uh, spaces. Basketball courts, uh, gym. Nah, but it's got to be bigger than that. That's physical stuff. Yeah, gotta, I think you got to be able yeah. to talk therapy. Like, you yes, do man. therapy. Yes. We- just, yeah, I'm with the therapy. <laughs> they got to be safe spaces for you us to mentally and emotionally oh, okay. express ourselves, man. Because when we don't have no place to express ourselves, things like that situation happen. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, you know, wax went to therapy? Yeah, I know. Right. Oh, okay. I'm proud of you. I'm proud for the first you time. You went bullshitting the therapist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. You had to put shades on and everything. Um, yeah. That's it all. It didn't set us back. And you know, another thing I hate, oh, no, man. I hate when people say things like, um, Man, you can't do that at the Oscars. I don't give yo, a fuck, fuck about the Oscars. At? That's yeah. why I was happy it happened there. It's like, yo, stop it. Like, it's it's, it's, it's almost happy. like you're saying, learn how to behave in front of white people. Yeah, like, don't play with me like that. Don't play. I hung up somebody who did, said that shit to me. Who the fuck are you talking <laughs> to? Going? I, by the way, we, shouldn't be, we shouldn't be doing that anywhere. anywhere. Right. Like, you mean, why, why, why just the Oscars? Like, we shouldn't yeah, be doing yeah, that nowhere. Yeah, your mouth. Don't play with that. But I actually seen that Chris, where I say after he got smacked the way he came back and did something so professional, was like, unbelievable. Yeah. There's no Obama wouldn't have held that. That's what I'm saying. There was a Obama, lot. You think that's Obama right. would have held that that's smack? Right. Nah, that's right. Nah, fam. That's right. Chris is an OG for right. that. That's professional that's as a right. motherfucker. Chris was Chris maintains the professionalism. Yes. Um, let's do two more. What? Omar Al- Alazar ninety five say would Wax do the same thing Will did in the Oscars? <laughs> Hell yeah. Yes. I mean, for any, for any one of mine, you know what I'm saying? It'd be. Like, even with my baby mamas and stuff like that, it's like, if somebody doing I still got to protect them before because my sons. You know what I'm saying? Some of my sons yeah. get a certain age. If somebody doing I see her, that she feel disrespected. We could be at a cookout in the backyard. You know what I'm saying? If I see somebody hurt, she feel disrespected, I'm at least go to the guy. But for me being who I am, you, bro, you're supposed to know that. So I think that Chris disrespected um, Will Smith at the end of the day. Ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. Certain people you ain't going to play with at all. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? And Wax, you know not to play with me at all. I was going to say, Wax is the kind of guy that's going to smack you. Like you, you, you like, know like, that. Like, like, you know that, yeah. So I think for sure you're going to do it. You know you're going to do you that. You don't expect that it will smack. And if you, if you do that to me or disrespect like that, I think that you wanted to get smacked. Oh, this is a good one. There's two more I want to do. I want to do this one. Reese Narcisse. Reese says, why are we mad at Kanye for him storming the stage and we understand Wills? First of all, that is, number one, a false equivalency. <laughs> yeah. Number two... Who was mad at Kanye? Everybody was mad at Kanye. The culture wasn't? Nah, yes, people we fucked. Was for, Not for, for the Taylor for, Swift yes, shit? Listen, I think that it yeah, was... It, so. it was... It was Emer- Obama even called, he was called right. him an idiot. Yes, people were very mad at uh, Kanye. I don't remember. Nah. That's the whole thing. I remember what, what, what mainstream Obama America being mad because of Taylor. Mainstream America was mad. But yes. not, not the culture. The culture was like, he right. Yeah, he defended Beyonce and Beyonce should have right. won. Et well, Beyonce... Oh, and, and By the way, it was still Beyonce, tacky as fuck. Well, yeah, it was tacky. Uh-huh. Beyonce should have won because overall she won for best video of the year but then lost in the pop category. Yeah. Which he exposed how award shows are done. They just give out awards because that's how the business yeah, works, yeah, right? Yeah. It wasn't the right thing to do, but people were very mad at Kanye over Taylor. I saw people trying to make a correlation between the Kanye and Will thing, and it was like, well, you know, if Will can do that at the Oscars, why can't the Grammys let Kanye, you know, still perform? One reason and one reason only. If Will had been on social media saying, I'm going to slap the shit out of Chris Rock, or I'm going to slap the shit out of somebody at the Oscars. put a video that he killing somebody. That's right. He put a video of somebody that's at the Oscars, I'm going to beat up. If Will had been online doing that, the Oscars wouldn't have been invited. Most likely. The Oscars would have told him to stay his ass home. Yeah, You know what I'm saying? So what are we talking about? That is such a weird correlation. It's like, yes, it's just, it makes no sense. Kanye premeditated something. So if the Oscars was to put Kanye... On no, that Kanye stage. was really broad. He happened? was dating Amber Rose at that time. No, no, I'm talking about now. Yeah. Oh, Grammy's now. boycotting yeah. But I, I think what this question is referring and, oh, to but is, oh, is to, to, to that point, yeah. Kanye has a past of being unpredictable. It's all fun and games when it's just 
you know, you're being political and everything else, but it's yeah. when you're doing something that well, actually could cause harm to you, the mother of your child, and somebody else, they're going to tell you stay home. Yeah, well, man. no, I kind of agree with the question that now that I'm look, understanding it more, because they're saying, I think we were mad at Kanye, because I was, I wasn't necessarily mad, but I, I thought it was wrong. It wasn't the right time, but I wasn't mad at Will Smith. I wasn't mad at Kanye because I came from the era of old, dirty bastards. <laughs> <laughs> Running up on the stage <laughs> and saying Wu-Tang is for the children. <laughs> so I was not mad at Kanye. That's what I'm used to. Okay? <laughs> we expect something. Aye, man. Yeah. Hey, that's what I'm used to. I, I ain't flinching when I seen it happen. I was I'm like, used okay. to 50 Cent walking across the stage when goddamn... I forgot who won Best New Artist at the Grammys that year, but he got robbed. It was a rock group or somebody. Who won Best New Grammys that year? And 50 didn't say nothing. But he just got up on this, he walked up on the stage and just walked behind them and was looking at the camera and went and sat back down. Y'all don't remember that? That's right. No. I remember that shit. I'm watching world shows. I remember that. Uh, fuck, yeah. Go what back is- to that. Yes, it was when 50 Cent lost Best New Artist Artists at the Grammys and it was a rock group that won and 50 Cent jumped on the stage and walked behind the group and came back down. So stuff like that don't, that don't bother me. That's recent. But I still ain't never seen nobody get smacked. That was new. I Let's go smack. to uh, the corporate question. Taylor, let's scroll up to the top. I want to end on this one. This is a good question. Scroll up to the top, Taylor. Who's no, on? not that top. Uh, I think it was up, the first up, one. Up, up. Other one. Yeah. How do you yeah, keep you go. it real in a corporate setting? Yes. That's from Barrett oh. 7. How do you keep it real in a corporate setting? You don't. Cor- you don't. You don't. It all depends on the situation. You don't. You don't. You got to know there's rules. Right. You don't keep it real. There's rules. It still, it still all depends what happens. Mm-mm. And corporate, I it, suggest. If you want to keep your job, I think, I'm assuming that's what he's saying. How do you keep it real and still keep your job? What I is say real, you don't though? keep it real. Like, you can't say, I don't like you because, like, you giving me too many hours and you giving this person, like, I mean, you have to have almost like a sexual harassment, like a real issue to go to human resource with. But, like, if you don't like your boss because he's, Pissing you off, you gotta submit that in. No, to get that's job. not true. I know somebody who who going just because they felt uncomfortable at the workplace. That's different. That's like a human resource situation. Uncomfortable, yeah. as in that's. I, I think right now we're definitely in that phase. Like you could definitely. It wasn't always like that. So I I am happy that women or men, if mm-hmm. you feel uncomfortable, you can go to human resource. They take that stuff seriously. But for the most part, you can't keep it real in corporate. I, I want to know what keeping it real is though. Yeah. Like it's so like what does keeping it real mean to y'all? Because I. There's nothing saying that you don't like somebody that you know you can't say that. Yeah, I think of stuff like that. I think we all like you like we've been blessed to get jobs that we can keep it real and give our opinion. But yeah, most people but, don't have that but. privilege. Most people don't have the privilege of, of speaking their mind and their opinion and still having income. So it's a privilege to be able to most voice your hate opinion. Their boss. Mm. Most people hate this their is a boss. privilege to be they able to say what you really want to say because that person getting them a check. Yeah, I've never not kept it real in a corporate setting. I do know when... It worked in your favor. Yeah, I do know it's a time and place, meaning, like, if I have a gripe with somebody, let's have a meeting about it. Right. Because if I just go to that person and... Words get miscommunicated. Yeah, there yeah, you yeah, go. Yeah, now yeah, that person yeah. go to HR and say, nope, no, no, let's no. have a meeting all so we can all together. sit down. So other people yep. can be here. Everybody yes, can yeah, be yeah, here important. present. Right. And we all can say what we need to say about smart. each that's other. Smart. That's yeah. how, to me, that's how you keep it real. Yeah, in the one one. Just, I think the stuff y'all be wanting to keep it real about is not even real at all. If you want to, like, I need to know what that means. Is I that, don't think it means in terms of like fight, but let's say you have like a, uh, an opinion, right? That might go against the grain of, you know, what Hollywood, for example, would want you uh-huh. to say or think or feel. Mm-hmm. The It's hard to keep it real and also maintain those relationships, maintain your job, like, yeah, I, I I definitely feel for those people out there who yeah. go, hey, Will, I'd like Will to be more that. honest. Will right. Yeah, Will's like, I couldn't curse. curse. And and that's because the studios are like, hey, buddy, we're paying you $20 million a year. All you have to do is not curse in interviews. It's not that big a deal. Like, not when you're really out to dinner, deal. curse whenever you want. But right. you're going to have an interview with Access Hollywood or whatever. They're going to ask you questions. Don't say fuck. That yeah. seems like a decent deal. That's yeah. a decent deal for me. I would never swear deal. again. Right? Like, but it's so wild, though, my right? My mama told me because, I can't curse. She ain't oh, give, give you nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's so wild because no, Evanescence, that's oh, the yeah. artist, and 50 walked across the stage. And what, what's so wild about what Schultz said is like, I'd be wondering about shit like this, right? Because they'll tell, and I always tell the story I told in my first book. When I, when I wanted to name my book, um, I don't give a fuck and neither should you, a self-help guide on how not to give a fuck. The book publishers told me I couldn't name my book that. A book like that will never sell. It mm. won't be. It won't get into Target. It won't get into Walmart. All of this shit. And I'm like, well, who says that? Who said that? But they're just going off the rules of right. 
how mm-hmm. books were them. prior yeah. to that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Then Mark comes out, Tell drops the subtle art and not giving a fuck. fuck. Yeah. And sells a million plus copies. Now everybody got curse words in their titles. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, you know why I hate books. to say it, bring the race component. It's because you're a black man. And I feel like there's people like, you know, you have the the churches. You as a black man, why would you do that? I mean, there is, I want to call it privilege or white privilege, but there is a privilege as a white man. He can do that and get away with it. His audience is going to support it. It's not going to be judged as much. You as a black man, it's going to be judged. It's like you got to have a higher standard. I'm not, yeah, I'm not, I'm not saying that's wrong, but I also think too, you got to have people that are willing to take that risk and say, well, I, I agree if with that's you. what you want to do. Do it. And then when it works, everybody looks like fucking genius. Right. Yeah, everybody right. looks like they're changing the model. Be the right. first time. You know what I mean? Yeah. Everybody's crazy until it works. Everybody's right. crazy oh, until it fucking works. But do you think it would have worked for you the same? Yes. You yeah. do? Uh- <laughs> but I mean, but by the way, I'm not even tripping because... Everything had a, happened for a reason. Everything yeah. happened for a reason. And I had a great conversation with Steve Harvey. When I told Steve Harvey the name of the book, Steve Harvey said, no, player, that ain't it. That ain't it. That ain't it. That ain't it. He said, we, he said, we need to give a fuck. All right? That's exactly what he said. He said, no, no, no. He said, we can't afford to not give a fuck. Okay? He said, that's the problem. A bunch of people nowadays in our community don't give a fuck. And he was like, you know, you that's got... the difference. He said, you got a story to tell, and it's a story that can empower people. And yeah. he said, you know, you need to tap into that. Yeah. You know, how can this story be meaningful for people? Find a title that's going to actually mean something yeah, that's to people. Smart. That's and then, you smart. know, I was like, you know what? It's a privilege to be black. It's an honor to be black. And I ran it by uh, our late great friend, Jazz Fly, and she was like, that's it. So, and, yeah. you know, half a million or so books later, hey. you know, you're doing okay in life. Yeah. You know? It, it was meant to be. It was meant to be. Bestseller, baby. <laughs> New York Times bestseller it is. Let's talk about it. Third one on the way. Oh, really? Um, oh, yeah. What absolutely. are you thinking? I've been writing for a minute. We cooking up. Okay, so you don't want to. I got a couple, actually. Don't want to expose too much. Hey, man, I got a book in print. We just shoot. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that was so cocky. It is. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Kendra G, for joining thank, us. Thank you, Kendra. Listen, I had a you, lot of fun. You're great. I really did have a good time with you guys. Ooh, yes. You're crazy, but go ahead. I'm crazy. I'm going to go call Carla right now. Whoa. I bet <laughs> you shut the fuck up now. That's what <laughs> yeah. you get. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot tonight. Go ahead. As always, <laughs> you listen to this podcast. You think we're smart. You think we're intelligent. You think we're brilliant. You're absolutely right. But if you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right, too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening.